Put me down. Oh, it's... <laughs> hi, Ross. Hi, Greg. Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you tonight? Welcome, welcome. Let me know if we're all citrus before I fully dive in. Dive in. Hello. <laughs> hi, Greg. How are you? Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Thanks for the folks showing up like before the stream even starts. Like that's crazy. That's crazy to me. So thank you. Thank you kindly. Make sure we are uh, all citrus. Like I said before, we bring out the old whiteboard. Victor, what's going on? How are you doing, Victor? Victor is Mamasaurus here with us. Is Nicole here too? If so, hello. Hi. Um, time to start the long goodbye. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're starting it right now. I'm also watching on the other, like, I should say my producer is watching on the computer over there. Ross, what's up, buddy? Are you there with Amy? I just need to know if I have to share you, Ross. That's what my big question is. I kind of hope I don't. Um, James, what's up, man? Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Sunday stream. Do, 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 do. I know a few of you were already talking about this before, but I'm going to have to ask you to vote again. Uh, Daniel, hello. How are you? Ghost Rider, hello. How you doing? Welcome. It's so funny because, like, on my end, it's like I'm cut off, like, from here up. But, like, it seems like I'm in frame. I am. She votes for Dark Horse. Okay, hold on a sec. We're going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I have to, <laughs> I have to get this ready. Momosaurus is cleaning. Megan, hi, how are you? Megan, I'm so glad you're here. Faithkeeper, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight, we're going to be voting. I, I tried to limit this because there's a lot of different types of rides. But throughout the night, we're just going to be voting on which of these three types of rides you like the most. Dark ride, boat ride, or roller coaster. So voting is open. Skywalker Pen. Hello there. Skywalker, what up? So let me know your votes. Um, <laughs> voting for roller coasters. Jody, hi, how are you? Happy birthday to you. Jody, I'll sing you happy birthday if you want. I will totally do it. Roller coaster. All right, Megan's for roller coaster. If you voted before, please let me know again, just so I can I can make sure I tally it. I'm sorry, we just, <laughs> we're just getting into it. We just is it five? It's five o'clock now. Okay, five five anyway for for me here. I don't know what time it is for you there. So, yeah. So voting, R Crystal. Hello, what's up, roller coaster? How are you doing, Mi Amiga? Hi. <laughs> also hi. Voting for boat rides. Cool. Cool. Boat and boat ride, I just love the peaceful float in the water. Yes, Ross, and you said Amy was dark ride, right? All right. Um, Jody, I'll sing after the first initial round of voting, okay? And I'll make sure that you're here. Unless you need to, like, dip out right now. Ghost Rider says roller coaster. Ghost Rider says roller coaster. Uh, Greg says roller coaster. Okay, nice. Is the people over technically a roller coaster? I don't know. I don't know. Joey says boat ride, boat ride, boat ride. Um, yeah, giving some love. Ross, giving the love back to you, buddy. Giving it right back to you. Guys, seven likes already. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for all the likes. Helps the channel a lot. I'm just, if I make you smile once, I'm hoping I can get the like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, you smiling? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, yes. Uh, goes out the people who rolls and coasts uh oh, it does i had it go backwards on me once greg it was crazy oh so scary all right so initial round of voting is over again if you're just joining us and you'd like to vote in on this i pinned the comment up um in the chat so you can actually click on it and see hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for you so yeah jody are you ready for your birthday song um greg ah uh, slightly yes Ghosts are definitely a very close second for me since i love them so much too yeah is Greg here? <laughs> Crystal, first super of the night. Look at you. Dang, Crystal, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like I need to just start doing something for like the first super of the night. Just be like, super! Like, I don't know. Greg is not here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it dropped. Mom, boat ride. Hey, mom, I love you. Boat ride. What a, you're a champion, ma. I love you. Mom is here, guys. Start freaking out. Freak out. She is here. Um, Okay, gotcha. All right. I just got an update. Someone's not going to be here tonight. That's okay. Um, uh, I am so ready. Okay, Jody, ready? Ma, we're going to sing happy birthday to Jody. And yes, thank you. Give give love to Crystal, please. That was very kind of her. We're going to sing 
Jody, happy birthday. And then we'll get back to voting, all right? On the count of three, everybody, who wants to sing at home? Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday, dear Jody. Happy birthday to you and many more. Cha -cha -cha. Happy birthday, Jody. <laughs> How are you, Jody? Thank you so much. How are you doing? Are you having fun on your birthday? I hope you're having a good time. I hope you had a nice dinner somewhere. Maybe a fancy dinner. Maybe maybe a bougie dinner at home. You love the cha-cha-cha? Okay, good. I was going to say, I know, I, I thought a few people enjoyed it. So, blow out the lamp. Ready? We did it. All right, my turn back on. Um, Ghost Rider, what? It's your birthday too? Is it really? Is it really Ghost Rider? I don't know. You messing with me, Ghost Rider? Again, if you're just joining us and you want to vote in on this, let me know. Jody, birthday? Yeah, Ma, look at that. It's very exciting, isn't it? It's very exciting. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Uh... I want to vote in on these things myself, but I won't do it. But if you know me well, you probably know what I would vote for. No wrong answers, though. Honestly, all of them. And there's a lot of hybrids out there, too. You know? Um, it's your birthday and your own birthday. Great. It can't be both. Can it? I don't know. Hmm. I guess if you were born on, like, February 29th, and it was February 28th, and that year there wasn't, like, a leap year. You know what I mean? Maybe that's how we get away. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Uh, lunch at Twin Cities Grill. Oh my gosh. No one's saying to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Jody, I covered that on the channel. I don't know if you've seen that. I like Twin Cities Grill a lot. Oh, mom and I went there a few years ago. It's great. If you ever go to the Mall of America, hit up the Twin Cities Grill. It is fantastic. It is very, it's got some Minnesota inspired themes and like food items uh, that are delicious. So, great. Twin Cities, I love it. Man, that takes me back. We had a fun time. We had a good time. Jody, thanks for spending a little bit of your birthday here with us. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> dogs are clean. Yay, dogs are clean. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Well, tonight, along with all the voting and whatnot, open forum. Hit me with your questions. May they be theme park or otherwise. Today I'm wearing a little Tomorrowland. I'm repping a little Tomorrowland. Oh, yes, Crystal, you're Crystal, same mind. Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. Shout out to my buddy Nate. I hope I can see him again sometime. Uh, Nate Morrow. I was just watching one of his most recent videos. If you haven't uh, checked out Nate's channel, I recommend it. He's very, very good. Very, very fun. Yeah. Oh, my. Yep. He's a good guy. Good dude. He always has so much fun in his videos. I love it. I love it. His family is visiting. I'm very envious of him. I'm like, come on, man. <sighs> Hope he's having fun, though. But yeah, somewhere a little Tomorrowland. So I, I guess I'm technically kind of repping roller coasters. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm unbiased. That shirt, so fetch. Thank you. Appreciate it. I thought I'd try something out a little bit different. Of course, it's still Space Mountain themed. <laughs> and this is the preferred version of Space Mountain seating for me. I like the toboggan style seating, personally. It's not that I mind sitting next to people, but I don't know. I just, I like it. I like that better. That might just be me. Um, Haunted Mansion is your favorite along with... Uh, oh, hey! Supporting you in honor of me? <laughs> Jody, come on. That's your first super. Jody, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jody. Appreciate on your birthday? Come on, Jody. Thank you. My goodness. That's very kind of you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ghost Rider, you've never been on a roller coaster, but you voted for it. That's okay. That's all right. It's whatever. It's all good. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes we do like Walt Disney World versus Disneyland, and you might not have been able to ride all those rides, so... That was very kind, Jody. Thank you. Guys, give some love to Jody, please. A lot of love. It's her birthday, and she's she's donating to me. That's very kind. <laughs> all right, Jody, we're going to sing birthday. Happy birthday one more time, right? <laughs> she's like, no. Um, do you remember the first time I went to Disneyland? Oh, my gosh. Uh, James, I think I was like 
11 or 12? My mom could probably confirm. It was like at the beginning of the 2000s. Something like that. Yeah. A long time ago. Janet, hello! What's going on? Shout out to Janet, Keith, Alani, Lily. How's it going? Talk to me, guys. Talk to me. Fill me in, Janet. Do you and the kids and uh, the mister want to vote in on this? Your favorite type of attraction from these three? Dark Ride Roller Coaster or Boat Ride? No wrong answers. No wrong answers. Do a little survey. Uh, I was in Galaxy Edge yesterday and saw Bob Iger and other Disney executives walking around. Oh, really? Um, it was such a surprise. They even got interrogated by Stormtroopers. Oh, that's amazing. Skywalker, that's so cool. Did you go say hi? I would have. I, if I see Bob in the park or Josh tomorrow, I'm walking up and saying hi. Oh, give my love to Keith, Janet. Thank you. Alex, hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's nice. That's good. It's nice to see the executives in the park. I want to see them in the standby queue lines, though. That's what I really want. I want them to wait with me in the Pirates of the Caribbean queue line so we can talk. <laughs> be like, guys, get in here. That would be such a vlog, wouldn't it? I'm just filming. <laughs> like, I'm here with Bob and Josh. Um, <laughs> that'd be so much fun. Ah, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope you had fun in the park. I hope you had a good time. I was in Universal on Friday, and then yesterday I was twitching it up. Twitching it up, as my mom likes to say. Twitching. Was he, Were you twitching? Was he twitching? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fair enough. Hey, <laughs> Chris, yeah, just, this is what it's like. Uh, the jokes, like, I think one of the reasons they wouldn't do that, too, is people take pictures. They'd be like, even the executives can't afford the lightning lane. Okay, um, did you guys hear the lightning sound effect there? I did. I sure did. I sure did. But, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, man, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Does Rise... I'm counting it, Janet, as a dark ride? I believe so. Thank you for the question. It is, I think, technically... Say hi to them. It was really cool. They were taking pics with guests. I actually posted a video of it earlier. Nice. Skywalker, I would have slipped my business card in somebody's pocket. That's how I would have, I would have been like, for your next big motion picture. Um, <laughs> Alani's favorite dark ride is Snow White. Okay, Janet is like, Alani, is she saying dark ride overall? We're not talking about just dark rides, Janet. We're talking, if it's either a dark ride, a roller coaster, or a boat ride. So not just specifically dark rides, but yeah, if you, I don't know if you can see the pinned comment up above in the chat here. That might make it a little easier for you. Um, oh, Crystal, totally giving them stickers. Totally giving them stickers. For sure. I'd be like, hi. And then on the back is like my phone number. I'm like, call me for lunch. Can we do like a little lunch? A luncheon? I hope I can meet those guys someday, you know, in the acting world. I'll be like, yep. I used to vlog in the parks. I'm missing you guys. Maybe that's why. Maybe I'll see them at a special event night or something. Um, enjoy ones at Disneyland. I enjoy. You enjoy the dark rides. Nice. Uh, their favorite ride is Space Mountain. So, Janet, should we uh, just overall, should we put them down for roller coasters? Two votes for roller coasters. They like Space Mountain the most. Oh, I would love to have them try the one in Florida. I'd be so curious to hear if they like that or not. I don't know if Lily would go for it, though, because it's much like the Matterhorn. Does it get pixely for anyone else, or is it just me? Is it still citrus for everybody? Let me know. We got Lily to ride Space Mountain, and now she loves Space Mountain. Oh, my gosh. Okay, cool. Yes, two bucks roller coasters. Got it. Can do. Bip, boop. And strip, strip. Roller coaster's taking a bit of a lead here. I'm currently monitoring it to Crystal on my end. I think I look all right, but then again, I'm in the same room. So your votes for dark, dark ride. How about Keith? How's Keith? We need to know. I love that Keith. I do. 12 likes. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kylie. James, dark ride for you. Did I not get yours earlier, James? I'm sorry. It comes and goes for you. Crystal, we got to, you got to go outside and stand just in the right spot. Just they're like uh, uh. maybe one of these days we'll get really professional. I'll start making like little like uh like little um 
polls beforehand, like on a different site that I could post a link to, and then I could just go check it. I'd be like, oh my gosh, the voting. This is still fun though, I think. I like the whiteboard. As you can see right here, roller coasters winning right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keith proclaims, roller coaster! Roller coaster! Keith, you and me on a credit coaster, buddy. Let's make it happen. Please, not a joke. Not a joke. Hale! Hale! There she is. How you doing? Guys, one of our illustrious moderators has revealed that she is here. Give her some love. He's an adrenaline junkie. He did jump out of a perfectly functional plane for fun. Oh, oh he did a little skydive, huh? I want to do that, but I want to do that with my buddy Tommy C. Um, you guys probably, maybe you've heard of him. Uh, yeah, one day, me and Tom. That'd be, so, oh my gosh, I would love that. I would love it. It's either him or a significant other, you know what I mean? Like, the love of my life. I'd be like, sweetie, we're going, darling. And she's like, okay. Adelio and I both uh, vote boat. Adelio and I both vote boat. That's great. Adelio, hi as well. Welcome. Boats. Getting those on there. Adelio, how, dude, how are you, man? Adelio, your, your generosity has never been forgotten. It has been burned into my brain. I hope you do well, buddy. I hope you're doing swell. Whoa. Boat ride's catching up. You guys are wearing the flying squirrel suits, though. Crystal, I mean, like, we could film it this time. I've not been to Hershey Park. Oh, he giggled? Aw, Delio. There we go. Um, change the boat ride to roller, race a boat, mwahaha, race a mo <laughs> Greg's trying to mess with us. Um, when you said you and Keith on a credit coaster, he shrieked, woo! Yes. Keith. Come on, buddy. I'll be like, Keith. Keith, one of the ride bros. One of the ride bros. Keith, I was watching some videos back about this. Every time we ride Indiana Jones, we are never in the same row. <laughs> We're always like, you're in the first row and I'm in the second, or vice versa. But, uh, yeah, that was so much fun. We did the double feature last week featuring Janet, Keith, Alani, Lily, Ross, Amy, and then Sonny and Amy, and Andrew and Christina. It was it was insane. It was nuts. I hope you guys liked that. What For the people who did watch it, did you enjoy kind of combining a Disneyland and Universal vlog into one? Or are you like, Jimmy, I want, like, two separate videos. Let me know. I'm very curious. Uh, the time-space continuum would rip if you guys were in the same row. I know. Well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's great. You love the conjoined vlog? Well, thanks for being there. I was kind of kicking myself later. I was having so much fun talking to all of you guys. I really need to be better about, if you guys are interested in the future, to be like, hey, do you want to, like, say something on camera so, like, you know, we can have a moment where people can see your beautiful faces? James, I've not been to Legoland. I've been near Legoland, but I've not been to Legoland. She can't make it tonight, but says hello to everyone. Hi, Bridget. Hi, hi, bye, Bridget. I'm sorry, you can't be here. Gather in one video? Okay. Yeah, I probably won't do it all the time, just because it kind of takes, like... It's not hard for me to do, but it just kind of, it's like two days in the park, and I, instead of two videos, I get one video. <laughs> so, I don't know, we'll see, but I might. Oh, Jan, if you're camera shy, that's fine, too. If you don't want to be on camera, that's fine. I'll, I'll always ask. I'll always ask, unless it's like a quick pan over, which we've done. And then you're like in the front in Indy, you're like, ah. <laughs> We almost took up a whole small world boat. We were, I think we were pretty close. Oh, that was great. I love it when we get our own ride vehicle. It's like, that's, it's, we're so close to having that happen more often. And it warms my little heart. We want that pirate's boat. We need the pirate's boat. Come on. Ross and Amy, get back here, please. SeaWorld. Yeah, I, I just went to SeaWorld a long time ago myself. But uh, I've done a few aquarium videos on the channel. Not exactly the same, but similar. It's been very fun. Yeah. I have a friend who just went to the Shed Aquarium, and I was like, oh my gosh, I went there a while ago. I love the Shed Aquarium. Take a, a whole pirate's boat and small world boat, yes. If we take up a whole pirate's boat, we can for sure take a small world boat. But the other way around, I don't know. The small world boats are smaller. And they knew that. They learned that. The, the Imagineers and everybody were like, okay, if we make pirates, we're going to make them bigger. Wanted to go on camera. He mumbled some excuse like he left the camera. <laughs> Craig. Greg, you're too funny. Greg, we sat, we chatted for a long time, didn't we? I, it was it was a good amount of time. Right out front of Buca. Buca de Peppo. 
Adele is going to the Shedd Aquarium on Thursday. What? Is he really? Oh my gosh. Adelio, have you been there before? Adelio, if you want spoilers, check out my video. An hour-ish? Okay. If I had my own theme park, um, uh, Jimmy Land, what would it be like? James would be the best theme park you've ever been to in your life. The greatest. I'd spare no expense. It'd be the happiest, most wonderful. I'd go, I'd go so hard on it. It'd be so crazy. I thought about doing that as like a video where I take like my favorite attractions and put them into a park and be like, this is my ideal park. For the first time on Wednesday with his dad. Oh, okay, cool. Adelia, I hope you have a fun time. Check out Giordana's. That's a good pizza place. There's a few of them around there. Your double feature video with us was just heartwarming. Ross, thank you for being a part of it, brother. Send him my love. Well, be, uh, that'd be so much fun. Jimmy Land and Jimmy Adventure. <laughs> Jimmy Studios. It might be a little too much with my name on it. I would try to make a, a really good name that maybe doesn't feature my name, but. <laughs> bricks and joysticks. What is up? Showing those bricks, those jungle juleps, and those one more boats. I love it. Guys, I can never see enough jungle juleps. So if you're like, if you don't know what to say, you can just start spamming the jungle juleps. You know what I mean? Always feels good. And I hope you guys like that bricks emoji. I, I really, I poured my heart into it. I feel proud of it. Feels weird. You never had deep dish pizza? Ooh, Holly. I, well, I don't know if you're into that sort of thing. I love it. But, uh, like I said, Adelio, I did make a video on that and the uh, Natural History Museum. I don't know if you're going to go see my old friend Sue. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, man. Chicago. Gosh, that was years ago. That was uh, 2018 for me. That was almost six, it was six years ago, yeah. Well, I didn't know about the like the dough and there's like it's a it's a ratio thing. On the bottom of Jimmy's heart, yes, bricks. Some of my love. Um, <laughs> Deep dish is great for filling up with less slices. Yeah, my favorite brick is right there. Oh, Crystal, I love it. Crystal, you are funny, and I appreciate you very much. Where you make your own theme? Yes, James, I made uh, like roller coaster tycoon like in Tycoon Two back in the day, a long time ago. Long time ago. I liked him. Not a lot of people liked my roller coasters in the game. Baby to Sea Life Aquarium today. Uh, Jody, a long time ago, I went to Sea Life. And I was thinking about doing it again, maybe for like a vlog sometime. Did you guys have fun? That's over at the Mall of America. Mall's great. I love it. I'll put up with the bread to eat cheese. Yeah. Holly, that's why I was like, I didn't, I forgot. There's one of those things. I was like, I don't know if she loves. There's a lot. Oh, Giordana's Adelio. G or Donna's. I enjoyed it. I think I even filmed some of it, too. You have a limit when it comes to cheese? Janet, me too. But for some other reason, deep dish, I'm willing to... I'll grin and bear it. I'll gr I need the bread. I'm a mama's boy. I'm all, all bread. Hey, 15 likes. Thank you so much for the likes, guys. Thank you, thank you. Joe, there he is. How you doing, brother? What is up? What is up, Joe? And for anybody else who's just joining us, if you'd like to vote in on this, let me know. Yeah, Joe is here. Joe got Naomi's phone. And now he's in charge. <laughs> there she is. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, hello. Hey, you're not late. You arrived precisely when you meant to. Don't worry about it. The stream serve you. Of uh, all the amusement uh, games, Trollville is my absolute favorite. I used to create the craziest coasters. Yeah, right? A three for early. <laughs> Naomi and Joe, you want to vote in on this? Please. Uh, notes on the votes about boats. Ooh, bricks. I love that. That's very good. Are you taking notes on the votes about boats? Dark rides that are so dark, you can go with three friends and only two come back. That's called Jurassic World. Okay, do you guys want to hear a little story about what happened after the stream at Universal? Because I've got, I've got tales for you. I have tales to share. You'll never believe it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Joe, the last one's just... Did you enjoy your ride, sir? <laughs> the notes involve goats in coats, yes. Yes, story time. Yes, please. All right. Twist my arm. Okay, so for anybody who joined us on the Universal stream on Friday, first and foremost, thank you very much. A lot of people there, very generous, uh, shockingly generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
But I pushed the stream as far as it would go. We went up to about five hours with just the battery on the phone. And literally, the second I shut off the stream, phone died. But there was more to do. So I had to go around. Well, I got the chance to go around and film a bunch of stuff. But I had a little bit of a ball on Jurassic World. So you guys saw me, if you watched the stream, I wrote it twice. I wrote it twice. But in the end, at the very end of the night, all said and done, I wrote it a grand total of six times and two of those times I was completely alone in the boat and a few kind of weird things happened during this uh nothing bad it was just a little there was a few moments where I was not prepared uh for what was was gonna happen six more boats six I don't think it's my record Naomi I think once I did it like 10 times in a row I, on one of the videos I think I was just I was shouting out I was like 10 I love Jurassic. I really do. And uh, the, <laughs> the team members were just like, all right, here he comes. Uh, they didn't let me just sit in the boat and go again. I had to get out, and but still, totally worth it, totally worth it. But they were amazing. The team members were so great. Thank you. Shout out the team members. But I want to tell a little story about what happened in the final room, the big finale, something I've never had happen before. I'm sitting in the back row of my own boat. I feel like a king. And... Uh, I, was, I was stalled out, or they kept me up there for a little bit longer than normal. And what happened was, and I don't know what was going on, I started chanting quietly. I was like, evac, evac. Um, they can't hear me. Um, but there's a little bump you go over before you go down like the 85 foot drop, right? So I went up the bump and then stopped. It was like, kunk, kunk, and I was like, oh, and Indominus is right over, is like, you know, and I was just like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> and I was like thinking, I was like, oh, this is it. This is the evac. Um, it wasn't, unfortunately. I was there for a few more seconds, um, kind of trapped in limbo. I was not prepared because there was this kind of like this uh, this halting. And I was like, oh. Um, <laughs> it was incredible. It was very scary. Um, and I think that might have been the time that Rexy came out and then like went back. And then there was no Rexy. Um yeah, it was, it was incredible. I got to really stare at Indominus and appreciate uh, her. And I was just like, oh, oh, there you are, Indominus. I really want to get evacuated there. Oh, gosh. Please. Please. Um, also, I think Blue has got something wrong with her tail right now. I don't know. Um... <laughs> uh, how would they evacuate right at that drop? I'm curious. Are there stairs? Yeah, Janet, it's hard to see, but there's actually a path and stuff all over uh, that attraction all over every ride basically but yeah there's a spot to get out and actually do you guys want something i don't want to break the immersion for you guys but there's a little thing i can teach you about that finale that most people don't know about what's the most amount of times you've ever gone on a ride in a row Ooh, skywalker i don't know i don't know what's your what's what's your record I thought about doing that with pirates. I thought about doing a full day at pirates. Um, uh, do, 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 do. The lost raptors drag you out. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, chair in the dark at the top of the ride, at the top of top of drops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's actually a little. If you look, so you're looking to the left and you see Indominus when you're going down the drop. If you look to your right, there's actually a control booth with a team member in there with computers and monitors and stuff who's watching everything. So <laughs> if you want a little immersion breaking, look to the right instead, and you can wave at a team member. It's fun. Face on 13 times in a row. Oh my gosh, 13 times in a row? Ugh. I don't know if I can do space 13 times in a row. I'd probably do like two or three. I'd probably be good. That's enough for me. It's enough for the old toilet bowl. Adele and I did a big grizzly mountain in, oh, in Hong Kong, five times or oh, the, uh, yeah, like the, um, they're kind of their big thunder with the bears. That's so cute. The cute little bears who are getting into mischief. I love that. I love that. Also, Naomi and Joe, did I miss your votes? Either on boats or roller coasters or dark rides? 20 likes. Hey, thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of my tales from Universal the other night. It was pretty incredible. Um... Uh, you once took 15 steps in a row. Whoa, Greg. Come on now. That's too many. That's too many. It's too many, man. It's crippling. 
I don't think I could do it. It reminds me of the other night when I did all the, I was jumping back and forth or, or kind of walking around every time we saw a boat, I'd move locations and we went up some of the stairs, went down some of the stairs. It was a lot of stairs. I will say, I think that's roller coaster. All right, let's see. Three, six, seven, eight. There we go. Uh, oh man, that's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot of times though. 13 times? 13? Yeah. I would love to do pirates someday. I'm trying to, like I said, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, trying to convince my buddy Chris to do like a pirates and beignet challenge for both of us together. I don't know. On Splash Mountain, uh, the last time I rode it, I rode front row and got destroyed. But that's the way I wanted it to be. I want, I, it was, it was the, it was the end of something, so. Yep. Beautiful. It was great. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> Pirates, you actually don't get too soaked, unless you get, like, if you get two or three people up front, uh, like two or three guys up front, you can get a little bit wet. <laughs> Winnie and Tigger Tail Challenge. Oh, my gosh, Janet. <laughs> I would love to do that. Um, yeah, I don't know how many times we'd be able to do it. Those Tinker Tails. Those Tinker Tails would be a lot after a while. I also think of it like financially. I'm not probably there yet. Because <laughs> it's like, how do you bankrupt yourself? And I was like, well, I bought like 18 Tinker Tails. <laughs> yep. I'll never have another one. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Challenges. Uh... Yeah, see, Skywalker, sometimes that happens with water rides. I have seen people get wrecked on Jurassic World as well. I really have. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Crystal. You guys do a lot. You guys help keep me alive right now. So that's I. That's the thing I appreciate the very most. So thank you. You guys support so very much. I'm sending my love. My love. My love. Hold on a sec. We're going to do the, the three different hearts. This is the one I like. This is the one Holly likes. And then this is the... Oh man, this is it. <laughs> What's my favorite Disney World hotel? I did a video on this a while ago. I don't know if it's changed, but I think I said my top three were Wilderness Lodge, the Polynesian, and Old Key West or Beach Club. I don't remember. I have to check the tape. Um. <laughs> Holly, do you have to see that happen, or can it be implied? Uh, yeah. Um, it's for any boat ride, Terry. Okay, cool. Hi, Terry. How are you? Let's see. Three, six, seven for boat rides. Seven for boat rides, eight for roller coasters, and three for dark rides. Implied is good. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to need... Yeah, I don't know. The scary thing about opening up the ride challenge video thing is that, like, I know other people who've done it, and, like, people will come up and always ask that person, like, when are you going to do the next one? And it's like, I don't know if they're going to do another one. It kind of, it is, it's a mental and physical fortitude thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Bengal barbecue and Indiana Jones. You eat a beef skewer, and then you go on the ride. <laughs> We're going to get swole, bro. Uh <laughs> Could you imagine that? Could you imagine? That might be too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, sponsor the teacups and coconut macaroon challenge. Oh, that's crystal. That'll be on another channel, I think. Fade before uh, it becomes appealing. Yeah, right. Garbage and teacups. <laughs> how about nothing in teacups? How about just how many times you can ride the teacups? Pork belly, jungle julep, and Indiana Jones. Wait, no. <laughs> I, I love jungle juleps. I don't want to hate jungle juleps. And plus, I don't know how many of those I could drink. <laughs> could you imagine drinking like 10 jungle juleps in a day? I can kind of imagine that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I do not want to be known as like the ride challenge food guy, but I would try it once, I think. Crystal, you can do a teacup marathon next time you go. I hope you get to. You can just go again and again and again. 
Crystal, I could make you a video that's like an infinite teacups. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, that would be, that would destroy. Oh gosh, no. I'm, I'm craving some beef barbecue now. Crystal, yes, please and thank you. Please and thank you. It's four hours just going round and round. Round and round. I had this idea for a very crazy video, but it, it would be like four hours long. Hey, Nicole, how are you? What's up? Teacup infinity. Teacup finity. Yeah. Yeah, right? It's very... <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I thought about a blue, green milk, and rise challenge. You can do that. Yeah. Devin, what's up, dude? How are you, brother? Uh, a little bit, Devin. How are you? Devin, thank you for dropping by the Universal stream the other day a couple of times. Send him my love. How, Devin, how are your hands? How are your hands, buddy? The tram, buddy. Guys, give some love to Devin. Uh, Slim Devin's Adventures. He is streaming on like in like the parks and stuff, like Disneyland. Go check him out, please. Let him know Jimmy sent you. Good to see you too, buddy. Hey, please give my love to CL the next time you see her too. Send him my love to you, brother. Guys, Devin is the guy I was talking about. I signed a simple green bottle because of him. He's very nice. Devin, I was trying to think about, like, what I could get. I was like, could I get him, like, some, like, gloves that have, like, they have heat built into them, and they're, like, from the future, and they help him? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Marathon the tram. Marathon the tram. The nice thing about the tram tour is that it is different every time in some respects. That's the cool thing about it. And there's going to be more tram stuff coming up on the channel. I promise you that. Um, yeah, Devin is, is amazing. He honored and humbled me. Devin, you gave me affirmation in life. All right, buddy? So thank you. Thank you. Send in my love. Send in it. And Devin, if you want to vote on this, man, let me know. If you want to be part of our vote tonight, go to whiteboard. We're not sponsored by Simple Green, but I was using it today. Um, shout out Simple Green. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oops. Balance. No, thank you. Uh, to return the favorite, you can make a simple green emoji for me. <laughs> can you send it in the chat? I don't know. They might come for me if I do that. <laughs> That's so funny. If you want to pick one, uh, a few times in a row where nobody was waiting in line for Star Tours, cast members just let us keep going, and a few times it was crazy. Cool. Nice. Um... A good themed dark roller boat ride is my favorite. Put it on the board. <laughs> Bryce, I'll just put a big X over the whole thing. Nicole has to say boat ride. You don't have to. You get to. How about that? We don't want to force you. I'm just kidding, Nicole. I'm just messing. Again, Jody, happy birthday. I don't know if Jody's still here. Guys, give love to Jody. Uh, simple and green is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let go. Any Kingdom Hearts fans here? Otherwise, you're going to be like, what are they doing? Um, <laughs> there you go, Greg. So you're just trying to find my favorite ride in general? Uh, no, Devin, just uh, which of those three different ride types, either dark ride, roller coaster, or boat ride, is your personal favorite? Breaks the Joystick is such a good song, right? Yeah. Uh, do -do. Ooh, if they did an all-night event, I might go for the entire night. That'd be fun to, like, stream at, like, 3 in the morning. I don't know if anybody would be watching, but it'd be kind of fun to do. Yeah. Yeah. Small World is my favorite, which I am the rare person who loves it. Nicole, nothing wrong with that. Small World is amazing. It's a beautiful message, all right? Kingdom Hearts is great. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we could, yeah, we could do that, too. <laughs> The, honestly, though, they're really cool. Like, if I, I get, even if I went to ask them, <laughs> that'd be amazing. If I was like, "Hey, guys, do you think you could like sponsor the channel? That'd be great." <laughs> simple and clean, simple and green, same thing. Uh, so, what category does Star Tours go under? Ooh, I guess technically that's more like a simulator. But for this one, I guess we wait. Star Tours is like your favorite. I guess we do Dark Ride, the Transit Channel. Hello, good evening. 
My daughter moving into new house and saw a mega huge bottle of Simple Green on the counter and then had to show her your commercial. Thank you, Jody. Did she like it? Did she like the, well, not only the product, but did she like the commercial? How was my performance like? Okay-ish. Yeah. <laughs> we have, I have fun here. I enjoy it. We have a good time. Transit. Well, we got to, Transit, are you in Orlando? Is that, are you, is your home park like Walt Disney World and stuff? Hello. Again, please check out Slim Devin's Adventures. He's great. Let him know I sent you. Um, in this chat that I don't have to, to beg to go on small world. Yes, Nicole, I, I'll totally go on small world anytime. The world's lot. Yeah, they do have the world's lot. The Hansons are here. Hello. Much love from the Hanson household. Hansons. Send him my love. You guys are too kind. Sonny wrote something to me today and in the Discord that, like, touched my little heart. So thank you, guys. Give some love to the Hansons, please. She, jo, Jody, she thought it was kind of derpy. Jody, please, more notes. I need more. Thank you. Um, I'd be interested in doing a video with Fresh Bake. Yes, James, I totally would. You got to let him know. I've, told, I've talked to Dave a few times. Very nice, but I'd be happy to. Yes. Hansons. Hansons are amazing. Amazing. Whoa. Where'd that marker go? Hold on a sec. We're, we're having technical difficulties. Um. <laughs> Where'd he go? Marker, come back. Marker, come back. You can blame it all on me. Now you're gone. And I can't live without you. Marker, come back. My favorite rides are Star Tours, Indiana. Hold on a second. Uh, Space Mountain and Roger Rabbit. Cool, dude, you're a Roger Rabbit fan? Oh my gosh, I thought I was one of the only people who liked Cartoon Spin. I love that cue line. I think it's great. Um, <laughs> the marker, it left. Uh, yeah, Fresh Bake was on the stream briefly. Um, Runaway Marker. Yeah, where did it go? I'm like, so, where did, where, where, Marker? Marker, hello. Did you leave me? Marker, come back. Marker, come back. I found it. I found it, chat. I found the marker. It's, it's hiding in a spot that is difficult. Hold on a sec. Everybody say nice things to each other. That, that'd that be great. Marker, wake up. Oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. This is incredible. It went in, like, a perfect spot. I've never had this happen before. It's never happened before. It's like Anakin being a master on the council. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to do this now, but I think it's funnier if I do it now. Just look at the chair, everybody. I got it. I got it. All right. Ah. I'm... We did it. Um. There, there we go. Are we good? Talk amongst yourselves. Best cues for sure, but I don't actually spin on the ride. Dude, I hold the car still too. Devin, next time we go, let me hold it for you, okay, brother? It's like I'm invisible. It's like I'm invisible. Um, there we go. I've got extra markers, but none of them are black, so. I'm frugal around these parts, all right? And I don't like to let things go to waste, including marker. Maka. Sam, how are you? Sam, you posted that video today about Dennis at Universal. That was so kind of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Which ride from each category would you want to combine to make one boat coaster dark ride? Uh, um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Spinning Pirates of the of no of the Space Pirates. No, of the Big Thunder Pirates, of the Big Thunder Pirates, Indiana Jones Adventure, colon, Temple of the Big Thunder Pirates. <laughs> we did it. Dennis is our new Universal Bestie. Dennis is, Dennis is great. Love him. Love him. Yeah, Sam, is Alexis here tonight? Is she here? What did I miss? Yeah, so Devin, do you want me to push you down for Dark Ride? I sure can. You've got some good picks there, man. Indiana Jones is so good, dude. Love it. That's a top. That's a top tenner for me. 
It's a top tenner, for sure. For sure. And you guys liked that first one so much, I might do one for DCA. Favorite dark ride is, of course, Pirates of the Caribbean. Favorite roller coaster is Space Mountain, but both in Paris. Paris did the, the rides right. Did you want to vote on, like, if you like dark rides, roller coasters, or uh, boat rides? One of the three. I try to make it simple. As simple as possible. Simple as possible. Oh, I'm glitching out there a little bit. Are we still glitchy? I don't know. It comes and goes. Let me know if we're still citrus, everybody. <laughs> Did I knock over something? Temple of the Big Caribbean. Travis, do I have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. Dark rides. Okay. Dark rides. And Sam and Alexis, if you guys want to vote, let me know. Can't hear or see. Well, wait, what the? Are we back? I don't know why. Temple of Caribbean Thunder. Every few minutes? I don't know why that is. Splashy, splash, splash. There we go. <laughs> Combine! Here, let me try something here. Let me try a little something. Yep. Let's try that. Maybe that'll make it better? I don't know. Sometimes lagging? Good. Naomi, it keeps people invested, because you never know what's going to happen. Jody, well, technically Lily's not, like, mine, and even if, like, Lily was mine, I'm her human. Like, I don't, you know, she's not, like, my pet. I'm, like, I'm hers, you know, if anything. Uh, Pear, what's up? Jurassic, but if you meant Disney, Rise. No, Sam, just, like, type of ride, type in general. Max Headroom vibes. Exactly. Exactly. That's a new effect I put on here. It's glitchy. Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> I'm Lily's co-pilot for Falcon. Yes. She's taught me a lot of tricks. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. I got it. Expo. If Expo started sponsoring these, we wouldn't have these problems. It was amazing. It honestly fell down underneath my mini fridge. So I had to do this whole thing. It reminded me of uh, Bedtime Stories and Songs. Anybody knows that? I love the bit of Chasing the Mark. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, okay. Dark Ride for you and Roller Coaster for us. Perfection. Perfection. Let's see. Four, eight, nine. Beautiful. 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 Nice. That's the mark. It's an excellent trick. Yeah, Lily taught me that one. Lily taught me. I miss Lily so much. Ugh, it's gonna be so long t until I go home. <laughs> Ugh. Oh well, that's all right. We're here. We're committed to it. Again, thanks for being here tonight, everybody. Hundred percent quality entertainment. Uh, the Curse of the Forbidden Expo, but the Disney Sea version. Votes are in. Almighty T, uh, Roller Coaster. Amy is Dark Rides. Okay, all right. Almighty T is here too? And Amy, I, oh my gosh. Love them both. Love them both. Amy has one of the warmest personalities and energies I've ever met in a person before. Like, I've ever witnessed, I should say. It's, uh, it's incredible. It's so, like, the camera will never do it justice. Like, she's such a, a good person. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of my mom a little bit. Um, I want a Big Thunder, Small World, Rise mashup somehow. It'd be a very interesting combination. Rise of the Big World. <laughs> we can do that. Um, uh, your favorite roller coaster? Yeah, GRL, but our roller coaster is your favorite. Or do we, should we put you down for boat rides? Your name feels like it might be Dark Ride, though. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Love to you. In the Guy, hey, speaking, Naomi and Hanson, now that you're here... Tortilla Joe's is, like, going away. My goodness. What's up with that? Um. Nah, I was waiting for Naomi to say something. It's true. It's true. Amy is fantastic. Amy, you are, you are aces, all right? Aces. Love it. Love it. You were missed for the Ride Bros Day, but I gotta say, having Sonny and Andrew all to myself was very nice. Yeah, the hands are so sad. Yeah, they're getting rid of Tortilla Joe's. I just found out about this. I was like, what? Um... Travis, no, I don't have any. Do you? 
No more Tatia Joes. We'll always have the memories, though. No, no, no. That was bro day. That was bro's day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tortilla Joe's is closing. Or they're stopping service after today? Or today's their last day? I don't know. I just saw it pop up. Downtown Disney is shifting. It is changing. Yeah. That's too bad. But maybe something more, like, more people enjoy will go. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, it opened in 2004, so it had a 20-year run just about. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Almighty T is here? Man, I feel safer now that Almighty T is here. Almighty T is a bit of a karate, or a karate legend. I can't, I can't even speak. I'm terrified. Bring arcades back, bricks and joysticks. Yes, please. The Hansons, um... Yes, Christina's Magical Moments and Hubby in the recent USH vlog. Yes, well, Sam, get ready, because you're you're going to see more of uh, Andrew and Sonny for sure. There is a full video dedicated to a bros day. The only thing I was missing there was like Ross and Keith and Mr. Churro Toffee. The boys need to get together. You know what I mean? We could get Joe in there too, Joe. Mm -hmm. um, operating the two new Mexican restaurants now to Disney. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Be uh, in L.A. at the end of next month. Maybe we can meet for dinner. Oh, man. What about Universal yet? Oh, yeah. Keep me posted, guys. Bro's day. It, okay, guys. Like, I don't want to be one of those guys. Because we'll talk about it more when the video comes up. Um, we still have a little bit of time before it does. But hanging out. A couple of buddies in the park. So sweet. Same, we just all had a good time. Easy going. One of the most easy going days I've ever had in the park. And we're all just nice to each other. Nice things were said. Sweet, kind, endearing, sincere things. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, warmed my little heart. Ugh. Just just buddies. Just buds. Ugh. It was, mm. Yes, it's great. I crave that sort of thing. It's wonderful. <laughs> Jenny, you want a ladies' night, too? I don't know if I can be part of that. Maybe I chaperone. Um, <laughs> that'd be such a funny video. I'm just like, it's ladies' night, and I'm here, too. So... Hey, 25 likes. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, boy. That one day, one day when I, the future significant other of me, I'll be like, sweetie, I know you don't normally, you know, run the vlogs, but you need to do a ladies night, please, with these wonderful women. So thanks. Like and subscribe. Uh, what's my favorite coaster? Hagrid's. Um... <laughs> the picture of us, uh, only one's going on Jurassic is the best. The best ride photo ever. It was so good. So, Sonny, I was looking at the pictures I took. I might need to borrow one of yours or um, Andrew's for the thumbnail. Because I was looking, I'm like, oh, these aren't as good. <laughs> Holly, actually, I have something to tell you about James. Yeah. Um, you, If you're part of that tier on Patreon, you might be hearing from him very soon. Um <laughs> I can moderate that night. I'm like, all right, ladies, we're getting, we're, all right, we're moving to the next thing. <laughs> Use that one. We're all just like, ah, yeah. We had a whole boat to ourselves. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out with the Raven Claws. Oh, joy, joy, joy! You say boat, boat ride. All right, boat ride. Four, eight, nine. Wow. Wow. Don't doubt me. Um, is Disney Transport your favorite part of Disney rides? Probably not my favorite, but I do enjoy it a lot. Especially in Walt Disney World. The monorails over there are incredible. And the Skyliner and the boats. Ugh, and the big old buses. Love them. Love them. Nice. Um, <laughs> you can picture it. <laughs> not saying I'm going to do it, but... Um... Uh, for the first time uh, t time two weeks ago. Oh, did you like it, Faith Keeper? I hope you did. That's Dev one of Devin's favorite. Z um, oh, yeah, Trans. It's, it's, if you watch on the Walt Disney World videos, you'll probably see me on the buses. Um, Jim says roller coaster. Oh, hi, Jim. How are you? He says roller coaster. Jim, with that, he brings it over the top, I think. Four, five, six. Yeah. Roller coasters have started their second... Uh, escalation, column to the top. 
Roller coasters with 11 votes now. Boat rides with 9. Dark rides with 6. Wow. That's crazy. I like it. I, I like forcing it a little bit like this so we have more of a horse race, you know? Bit more of a horse race. Pointing out my favorite brick in Friday's live. Was I I got it right? Yes. Hey, Joy Joy Joy, thank you for being here. Um Yeah, quick turns drops, yeah, yeah. GRL, you just stay right here if you like roller coasters, dark rides, or boat rides the most, and I'll write it down. Team coasters. Yes. Alright, hold on a sec. Here we go. I figured you'd say roller coasters. I just wanted you to say it. My dad likes Mr. Toads. So that would be a vote for Dark Rides. Hey, uh, Sonny, please give my best to your dad. I hope he's doing swell. I don't know if he's here right now, but... And we're... Almighty T, give him a fist a fist bump for me. I miss that guy. He's cool. He's cool! I like him. It's a good dude. Good dude. It's been too long. Almighty T. Dark Roller Boat Ride has one vote. Don't forget us. Dark rides all the way. Um, dark rides. Yes. I is that uh, ru 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 I can't. It's hard to say. Thank you. I'll write that down. The dark rides. Dark rides. Who doesn't love a good dark ride, right? He is here. He is good. Nice. Dark rides and bow rides. Wait, is Space Mountain considered a roller coaster or dark ride? See, that's the thing. Some of them are hybrids. But yeah, Space Mountain is probably more considered a roller coaster. Or like, for instance, Pirates of the Caribbean is a boat ride, but it's also a dark ride. But we're just forcing it today. Maybe we'll do hybrids another time. Um, dude, I want to go to oh, Tokyo Disneyland. That is like the holiest of holy grails. Sugoi. Konnichiwa. Forget about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Almighty T. What's up, brother? Welcome, man. It's been too long. Been too long. Um, yeah, right. I hate to keep right having it, but one day we'll get to. One day we'll get to Tokyo. One day. That's another way. I joked the other week about knowing when the channel's doing really well. If I'm like, we're going to Tokyo. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, Skywalker. Um, I don't know. Probably not, but. I'm sure someone could make the case for it. We were talking about movie genres the other day. It's kind of like that, too, where like a lot of things are just like, eh. Jens, hello. J oh, Jen, hi. Great to see you, too, Jen. What is up, Jen? You're so sweet. So very nice. It was so cool to catch you on the stream the other day. Jen, give some love to Jen. <sighs> Jen, your hair is looking fabulous. Looking fabulous. Yeah. Oh, man. Thanks for stopping by. How are you? Uh, transit, no. I haven't. Uh, nope. Um, I haven't been there yet. Here's some love. Give her some love. Oh, Bengal barbecue is so good. And that's because of these fine folks here. They're, they're so nice to treat me to it. Um, so thank you so much, everybody who buy, who, people buy me food. Can you emoji? Nice. Yeah, that's very good. Thank you. Again, thanks for all the likes, guys. Appreciate you being here. We have a lot of members and patrons here today. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. If you're a member, I'd love to see the Citrus Grove. But uh, thanks for supporting me financially. Thank you so very, very much. You're very, very sweet. You guys have been, like, so <laughs> generous. It's like, ah, my little heart. There's Devin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go. Hey, oh, I saw it over there. Hanson, you get to five memberships. I could see it on, the, on my screen over there. Oh, my gosh. Hanson, seriously, thank you, guys. <laughs> guys. Thank you. We got to squeeze the lemons. One, two, oh, a little bit got my other, three, four, and, oh, this is a tough one, five, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Hansons, guys, give them some love, give them some love, if you do not have your, um, your gifts turned on, I actually have a command for that, uh, the mods, if you can, I think it's like, um, exclamation point gifts, and then, uh, people can turn that on so they could potentially be gifted, uh, a membership. That's so kind of you. Oh, uh, yeah. Ugh. Hanson's, one day you'll get to meet Mom. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We'll a little coalesce someday. We'll just... I think we should just do a big uh, meet-up at the Mall of America. How's that sound, everybody? How's that sound, everybody? 
Ugh, where would we go for lunch? I don't know. Or maybe it's allow gifts? I'm sorry, I might have screwed that up, Hansons. That might be me. That might be me. Uh, ooh, at least all the people who got it. Nice cow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Yeah, like I said, I can see it in the browser over here, but for some odd reason on mobile, it doesn't show me. For any other streamers out there. That's a bucket list, yeah. Meat and Mom is the is the best of the best. Like, Tokyo Disney, my mom, up there. That's the difference. That is the difference, I'd imagine. I've not been to Tokyo Disney yet, but it, to me, is the, the end all be all. So, I'm going to try not to lose my mind when I go. One day. One day. Um... Anyway, thank you, Hansons. That was very sweet of you. Thank you so much. And thank you, like I said before, to all the members. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for yours truly about theme parks, about myself, whatever? Um, CL, hey, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. CL, I was just talking about you a little while ago. CL is such a sweet lady. Very, very nice. Roller coaster is my favorite ride type. Yes, there we go. Wow, I need it. That's another vote. That's another vote. Whoa. Jen, you just put it to 13 votes on here? 13 is my favorite number. CL's so nice. CL, you can actually see CL along with um, Devin on the Slim Devin's Adventures. Yeah. Maybe I'll crop up sometime soon, too. Aww. And Jen was streaming uh, on Donnie Land. That's another channel you should check out. I, I've only mostly seen Jen on there. I know that's not always the case, Jen, but you are... Jen, you're a draw, okay? You're a draw. 30 likes. Oh my gosh, 31 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. You're so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Again, if you're just joining us and you'd like to vote on either dark rides, boat rides, or roller coasters as your favorite, I know there are hybrids, but we're just keeping it to three tonight to keep it simple. All right? Keep it simple for now. But maybe another time we'll uh, start getting into the hybrids. Because like I said, Pirates, one of my favorite attractions of all time is a hybrid. You know, it's a hybrid. Jurassic is interesting because it's like a dark ride with, the, I should say dark ride portions, but primarily, well, a good chunk of it takes place outside. I might be primarily inside, though, with the Mosasaurus. It might be a 60-40 split. Oh, <laughs> Naomi, thank you. Thank you for the super, Naomi. Appreciate it. Dark and boats. Love them. What does gifted membership mean transit? Basically, that means uh, it allows people to gift memberships or people can buy memberships for the channel, like a subscription for the channel, and it will gift to other people. Randy, what's up? Would pirates be a dark ride in a boat ride that has rollers? <laughs> Randy, right? That's the joke. That is the joke. Give Naomi some love. That was very kind of you, Naomi. And Joe, dark rides for you, CL? Nice. CL, I hope we can hang again. You were, it was so much fun to hang out with you. So nice. Very, very nice. You and Devin, quite the pair. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Can you please show us that gift Albedo gave you? Couldn't really see. Oh, I would, but it's on my phone. I'm so sorry. I will post it in Discord. I really will. What is Trackless Ride considered to be? Faith, it's probably Dark Ride, honestly. Um... Yeah, trans, um, how much is it to get gifted? Uh, so basically you can choose how many you want to gift. I think there are like, there are differing tiers of it though too. As long as you allow gifts, like I said, you have to allow it. Yeah, yeah, So again, Hansons, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, Mods, I think it's allow gifts now that I recall it. I think that's what it is. I'm up for dark rides. They include coasters at night too. <laughs> Randy, we'll still put you down for dark rides. I don't know if that's true, but we'll... <laughs> Nine and ten. Whoa. It's more of a horse race than I thought. There it is. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you, Naomi. Um, yeah, I uh, I have a little surprise for you guys for tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to happen. Hey, Naomi, first try. Exactly. It's like me playing Mario Tennis. First try. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mario Tennis. Woo! So much fun. We love the mods here. Give them the love to the mods. Thank you so much. Again, if you're joining us and you didn't see this before, paging Mr. Morrow. I already plugged his channel before, but Nate Morrow does he does a great job. Check out paging Mr. Morrow. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Um, 
Yeah, basically you get like a membership for free for a month if it's gifted to you like that. Yeah. That's how it works. So it's very kind of them to do that. Jurassic Park watch party? Uh, Naomi, uh, I was waiting for you guys to reach out. Didn't you? <laughs> Allow hugs. Randy, you want a hug? You want a hug? I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a, I'll give you a, the digital hug. <laughs> hugs have been turned on. <laughs> we should start making that a thing here. Uh, Randy. Yeah, Hansons, I'm honored to have you here. Not just because you support so much, but because I, I love you guys. You, you feel like family. You really do. Seriously. Truly, truly. So. And you guys understand how all this stuff works, too, which is great. So, yeah. I know you guys can't always be here, but know that I always love it when you stop by. So, yeah. Loving our moderators. We have a, an elite group of moderators. They're very elite. Very strong. Very different, but very lovable. All... Uh, you tell us when the JP watch party. It's tonight, Naomi. Right after the stream. I demand everybody get in Discord and start chatting. <laughs> did you see that dinosaur? I did. <laughs> uh, that's good. No, I'm just kidding. We won't do it tonight. We won't do it tonight. We won't do it tonight. Um, anyway, do you guys have any questions for me? Again, if you haven't uh, voted yet, we have 10 votes for Dark Rides, I think. Nine votes for boat rides and 13 for roller coasters right now. This is how it's going. There you go. That's it. That's the current ranking. That's the current ranking right there. But I want to go to Universal Studios for a while now. Harry Potter nerd here. But now I want you to join our group when we go. Please, hey, you... Oh my gosh, hey. Jen, you look at me. You let me know, I will try to be there. Jen, what's your house? What's your house? Let me hear it. Everyone Discord through Patreon for a watch party? Yes. Especially Craig. I choose Boat Ride Transit. Oh, did you not vote earlier? I'm sorry. Uh, Jan Janet, what if I... I never stopped eating Oreos. No, Janet, here's the thing. I have to... <laughs> I I have them right here. Hold on a sec. Did you say Boat Ride? Did you say Boat Ride? Was that what it was? So sorry if I missed it. I choose Boat Ride. Boat Ride puts it to 10. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're a, Jen, you're a Gryffindor? You're like me. I love it. Uh, please don't trust me with the wrench. I'd be like, bore me with the wrench. <laughs> You're too funny. I can show you the box. Yeah, power coasters, we're not doing those this time. We're just doing the three. We're just doing the three. Uh, I'm working my way through. I My mom was so kind. So before you gave me those Oreos, I had I have a box or two of double stuff I have to get through, and then I will get to them. If you want, it's there literally right here still. Guys, Janet and Keith and Alani and Lily. This is my head. This stream is not brought to you by Oreos. But it could be. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, Mom. Giving love to Naomi. Thank you again for the super, Naomi. Appreciate it. Um, Jen, I know. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Um, hugs. Hugs! Make sure Jimmy always has constant fly for Janet, thank you. Um, tried the, I was, Crystal, I was just thinking about that, and I haven't. Um, I don't, I might try it once, but I don't know if I want to. If you could change one ride to be a part of a different category, which ride would it be, and what, um, kind would you want it to change to? Skywalker, I would change, I would change Indiana Jones Adventure, Colon Temple of Forbidden Eye, from this kind of EMV dark ride. I would change it into a roller coaster. I'd be really curious to see what that's like. What is the Crystal method? Crystal, would you like to tell them? Um, be used for commenting different channels? I don't think so. I don't think so. Holly, yeah, Jen is here. Uh, Naomi, why not? What? I'm sorry, there's a lot back and forth there. Are you talking about the crystal method? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Jen, Jen has such a sweet energy. Seriously, so lovely. Just like, very, very kind told this story that touched my heart and I was like, my goodness, Jen. Come on now, you make me cry. You make me cry, all right? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't, what, Crystal, by perfect consistency, do you mean like, are they about to fall apart? Are they spongy? Inquiring minds want to know. 
It's my lack of... Yeah, my 2% milk... Here's the deal, guys. Um, I take my 2% milk very seriously. So, and I have... I, I've had milk that has been past its, its prime, but I have to drink it. Hey, Kira, what's up? Sorry to say hi and bye, but I need to run to the office to pick up a few things for an event. But Kira, no worries. Thanks for stopping by. Kira, did you want to vote in on this? Dark rides, roller coasters, or boat rides? Which is your favorite? Okay. Uh, allow it, but you aren't... Yes, Transit, you can. The uh, The chance to be gifted um, a membership is higher the more you chat. 2% milk, 98% unknown. 98% love. Indiana Jones is a coaster. Um, yeah, Skywalker, they kind of have one in Paris, but it's not to the same extent that I want it to be. So, um, yeah, no, the Temple of Peril is not not it. Oh, Kira, okay, roller coaster. Here we go. Kira, putting it on the board. Kira, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it, even if for just a moment. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Yeah. If you guys look back at old concept art for what Indiana Jones was originally going to be here at Disneyland, it was insane. Yeah, boat rides close second? Nice. Um, I don't know. It might. might. Um, the only milk I drink is in coffee or milkshake. Jen, fair enough. I respect that. This is a safe place. You can have open opinions here. The only person who can't is me. All right. So I agree with whatever you say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you have to work on the weekends. I'm sorry, Kira. Hopefully not forever. Hopefully not forever. Hey, Dragonblood, hello. Um, oh, wow. Went to a dairy farm, and after that, I rarely drink milk. Oh, Nicole, fair enough. I come from dairy country, so... You know, it's part of my blood. It's 2%. 2% of my blood is milk. <laughs> Use almond milk. Oh, Janet, I'm glad you like it. Like... Trans, I usually don't do live streams on Mondays, so probably not. Just, oh, next month? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, Kira. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I just recently found out that whole milk is just 3.25%. I just recently found that out too, Crystal, like just now. Can we know which dark ride in Fantasyland is your favorite? Oh, Hanson's! I thought you'd never ask. Um... Hanson's, are you setting me up? Do you know what videos are coming out this week? Uh, that's a good one. Um, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Janet, my favorite dark ride in Fantasyland. Yeah, I think it's Toads. I think it's Toads. It's that or Alice, but I think it might be Toads. I think I put that higher up on the top 10 list, but you know, those things are subject to change. Um, wow, uh, what is this? Storybook Land as a coaster would be really... Yes, I want a princess roller coaster. Let's go. Um, interact with his channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you drink milk with ice in it. Whoa. My favorite roller coaster is probably a Space Mountain, probably Hyperspace. Nice. Hanson's, what's your favorite? I know most people would say probably Peter Pan, but I like Peter Pan a lot. I really do. Every time I ride it, I'm like, yeah, I get why this is amazing, right? But it's probably Toads. I have a long-standing, like, um, history with Mr. Toads Wild Ride, so. I walked through the inferno <laughs> unscorched. <laughs> uh, the greatest darkness in all of Disneyland. How you doing? <laughs> Peter Pan is magical. Princess Coaster would be amazing. Disney, yeah, let's just, like, and it doesn't have to be crazy. Let's just Seven Dwarfs mind train it. Like, it doesn't need to be the most intense. Like, we don't need loop de loos and stuff. I think we could do it. Think of seven or eight princess animatronics, you know? The ending of the ride at the lights. Are, oh, Jen, that, the way they reverbed or refurbed that or did that whole thing over, is it's pretty great. Snow White is fantastic. I, yes, it was at the end of one of my videos. It was at the end of the double feature for the Disneyland portion, I believe. I was with the Living Dead family, and you can see them. They're streaming right in front of me. <laughs> Shout out to the Living Dead family. I don't know if they're here tonight, but I love them. They're great. What's your favorite roller coaster at Disneyland? That would be Matterhorn or Big Thunder. Probably Matterhorn, though. Get ready for a totally wild ride through Whimsical Mayhem on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It's Sonny's favorite. Pan is the rest of the family. Nice. Who? <laughs> Sonny, is it your... Sonny, are you typing or is Amy typing? I don't know anymore. 
That's so I love I love the Hansons so much. The Hansons are so sweet. You guys like you almost gave me a heart attack on Friday. <laughs> I was like, Ugh. um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, guys, what's your favorite dark ride in in Fantasyland? That may or may not be something that's topical this week. Um, as well, yes, I love it. I love, I love it. You're typing, okay, Sunny. I was like, I didn't know. Um. Is streaming wrestling right now. They streamed this morning and they made Disneyland Churro Funnel Cakes. Oh, that's so cute. They're really nice. Living Dead Family, please check them out as well if you want to see more Disney stuff. They're they're really nice people. Or like creepy, spooky stuff. They talk about like ghost stories and stuff. Yeah. Um, but they're super duper nice people. It was amazing. Like meeting them, I was like, oh yeah, we're friends. There's a few people. There's a few people out there that I've met and I've been like, we are buddies immediately. She's not here tonight. McKenna is one of those people. Hans is you. <laughs> you guys know McKenna. Like, the first second I met her, I'm like, yep, this is my friend McKenna. <laughs> Mr. Toad in Small World? Nice. Keith is Toad's. Jo oh, I want to ride it with... Oh. Keith, let's go, brother. Let's go. We need Ross back in the park, too. Do we think we could fit three guys in Mr. Toad's? Ooh. <laughs> It'll be you. Oh, oh, it's Sonny typing. The rest of the fam has their own. Okay, I didn't know. All right, thank you. Thank you for clarifying. Our beautiful family, yes. Ride Bros Assembled. Naomi, you love all of them, but which is your favorite? Which one takes the cake? Which one is the best? Put the third guy in the trunk. Dude, what if they had like a little trunk spot and you could sit back there? Oh, like an old hot rod? Oh, that'd be so dope. Please, Disney, call me. These ideas are something. <laughs> I'm like, we're going to need a $1 billion refurb to Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And they're like, no. And I'm like, all right, I will settle it for $500 million. <laughs> Naomi, I saw that with the Peter Pan with the hearts, but I didn't see you say favorite. When I see the little hearts thing, I'm like, maybe she means favorite, or maybe she was just having a moment where she was listfully looking up come up with our own catchphrase in group and group up too. Uh, I guess if you want to go for it, I probably won't shout it because it's not, I'm not part of it unless I'm chaperoning and I will. Ah, uh, yeah. Again, other questions for me. If you haven't voted yet on tonight's, um, lovely, lovely poll, if you'd like to, this is the current rankings. Roller coaster is still at the top, but the other two are not. Too far behind. Still a bit of a horse race, which is great to see. Yeah, I like a nice even spread, but sometimes you like to see uh, one just take off, you know? Just do better than the best. Do better than the rest, I should say. <laughs> Add transportation as a poll? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day. Uh, who's your favorite Disney character? Oh, Jen, that's a great question. I love uh, the genie. He is one of my favorites. I love Tigger. Um, those are probably some of my, those are my gut reactions. Jen, how, how about you? What do you, who are your favorites? I love like Barbosa too, and he's technically a Disney character, but he's like live action, so it gets a little weird. Um, yeah. Best Walt Disney World transportation invites Skyliner. Yeah, I know. Chris, I was thinking like, if we do transportation, it has to be Walt Disney World probably. Because like, we could do Skyliner, monorail, boats, buses, like... There's a lot. Not that Disneyland doesn't have a lot too, but it's mostly like shuttles, tram, and monorail. His Walt. <laughs> He's real? Um, yeah. Yeah, the Hansons are on TikTok. Check them out. Check them out. It's so hard to keep all the social media straight. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Ah, <sighs> so much. So much. Anywho, um, Main Street vehicles counted. Uh, I suppose they kind of could. I suppose. What kind of Peter Pan ride they might make for Disneyland Forward since Neverland is a possible land that they'll be adding? I don't know. I'm not sure if they would do anything with that, but maybe. People be surprised when the test track refurb is Mr. Toad on Kathy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Mr. Oh my God. Mr. Toad 
gets into a car manufacturing plant and goes throughout all of the different tests. Oh my gosh. Turbo Toad. <laughs> it's a jolly good ride. It's a 65 miles per hour. Oh, I would be there day one. Uh, um, Nicole, I was, I think, like 11 or 12 the first time I visited Disneyland. Yeah. Man, that's a gr that's brilliant. Turbo Toad is my new dream. Test track, please. Either revert to the old version or toad it up. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I ride Space Mountain all the time. It's great. Space. Space. Get that toady. I love toady so much. I love him. I love that Inferno room. What if you could shoot through the Inferno room? Oh, man. I'm already having ideas. I'm already having ideas. Oh. Mm. That's a delicious new dream. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. I think that was Randy who said it. Randy, I'm giving you credit. Thank you. I'm sorry. Other dream ideas. <laughs> now is the time. What if we take Mission Space and we just make it the Mad Tea Party? That's for Crystal. You're already spinning around. Turbo teacups. Turbo mode on all the rides. Coming soon. You guys don't know this, but that's what they're actually doing at the Haunted Mansion. They're cranking it up to 20 miles per hour. So, get ready for that. That is a joke. That is a joke. I said it with authority and sincerity, but... It was a joke. Yeah. Could you imagine that? Get on the moving walkway, they're like, go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are all my dreams. These are my dreams. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, a man can dream. One man's dream. Turbo mode for everything. Turbo mode on it all. I don't know if Astro Orbiters and Dumbo would be good with turbo mode, but... Let's see. Pirates having, like, an outboard motor is an idea as well. I think it would kind of ruin the atmosphere if there was a big, like, it's like, you know, in the back, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We have to try it. We have to try it. It's the only way we're going to know for sure. That's the only way. Um, what if they bring back the people mover and make it turbo too? Skywalker, I'm all in. Uh, 20 mile per hour Haunted Mansion, rumor pinned by <laughs> Jimmy Good. We are starting the rumor mill. Yes. <laughs> hey, Scott, how you doing? I should have teamed up uh, Hanson's with Chris for April Fools, and we should have just gone through all of these. And then, like, yeah, turbo mode, all of them. Jungle Cruise turbo mode. The skippers only tell the punchlines. They're like, well, they only have their trunks on. That's why I never shower. Like, <laughs> that's my friend Squirt. <laughs> Rocket Rods, I've heard, was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it did kind of destroy the track, so. I still submit that Tomorrowland can be saved. We just have to raise it to the ground. We'll save Space Mountain, but everything else... We gotta fix. Oh, oh, Randy, that would be the best department of Imagineering. Oh my, that's like super R and D. Oh, I really want to go tour it someday. I have to get invited though. I know where it is, but I will not go unless invited. All right, okay. It's like Walt Disney Studios. I won't go unless invited. I know, Hanson's. That's why he, he needs to we, we'd shoot back and forth between us. Because he would tell a joke, and then he'd get time to come back, and then I'd tell a joke. Be perfect. Uh, Pandora is going. Um, no, we haven't, Scott. We haven't talked about that. Where do you guys think Pandora is going? They've recently kind of confirmed that Pandora is kind of getting like a land over here in Disneyland. Some people are speculating it's going to go like over something that's already existing, or it might be part of the expansion plans. Because it's still just concept art. So, <laughs> Great, thank you. Um, Tomorrowland-ish? Yeah, people were saying, they're like, it kind of looks like it could replace some of the stuff in Tomorrowland. No idea. No confirmation yet. And again, it's blue sky concept art, so. Crystal, I saw that. I think it's the back half of the uh, Navi River journey that they never got to do. I'm hoping it's a boat ride with a drop, so we might not get Flight of Passage over here, but if they make another big, more capacity, boat rides are incredible for capacity so please <laughs> please please disney i beg you <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. Oh, that just reminded me. Holly, are you still here? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, but more questions. I love the questions. They're great. They need enough space for the lake. Yeah. Yeah. Nicole, is fun over in, in Disney World? Yeah, Walt Disney World. Yeah, Pandora's pretty good. Pretty good. I like. Is Nemo getting replaced? It might be. Who knows? They just refurbed it, though. Holly? Oh, you're here, Holly? Holly, how's Bowie? Uh, yeah. We'll see. If Disneyland Forward vote passes next week, it could go where the California Adventure expansion will be. Someone pointed out that the original concept art matches what they showed recently. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, too, is that there's a potential that it might just be part of the expansion plans. But who knows? She's snoring on Adelio. That's very cute. That's lovely. Oh, Holly, just a quick little thing. Um, you're fantastic, Holly. Never forget that, all right? You're wonderful, and I'm so glad you're here. <sighs> just wanted to do that for Holly. Um, yeah, Crystal, they probably will. It sounds like they're holding a lot of those, a lot of that information for D23. So are any of you guys going to D23? Anybody here going? I don't think I am. I haven't gone to any of them. Maybe one day I will. I want to be in uh, one day. They'll, maybe I'll be on a panel there. Who knows? You know, I'll be like, oh, Jimmy, you're, you're done with your, your recent film, but you also love the theme parks. And I'll be like, yes, I do. I love them. Thank you. Holly. Holly, I want to surprise you. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Naomi, you'd love to go? Naomi, maybe you can go. I don't know. It's in August. You still have time. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I hope they actually announce things this year because the last couple of times it's just been kind of concepts. So, Crystal, it is a lot of chaos from what I've seen. And I've been to other conventions that aren't D23, so I can only imagine that on top. And there's like a parade running through it. <laughs> oh, it's sold out? Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably, if it's already on sale, it's already gone. So, and that's fine because to be honest, with a lot of conventions like this, as someone who used to watch E3 a lot before they got rid of it, you can get more information by watching it from home. Truly. I'm not saying that you can replace the experience of being there with other fans, but if you want the most information, sometimes it's better to like watch it online or, you know, see what the news sites are saying so you can actually get a feel for it. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't been there. I haven't been there to report on it. Disney lost my invitation in the mail. It's okay. They'll remember in two years, I'm sure. You're going to D23? I was able to get tickets for Amy and I for three days. Nice. Oh, yes. I think, Sonny, did you mention this to me? That's very cool. Sonny, you're going to have to be our field reporter. I'll be like, Sonny, what are you seeing over there? And you're like, we're seeing a lot of concept art, Jimmy. Um, yeah, right? Going to attend the 70th anniversary in early September next year. Uh, and I'm freaking out with all the upcoming construction. Next year? Do you mean like 2025? Because then most of that should be done. Panels since they assign them randomly. To, oh, do they they assign the panels randomly to you? Oh, thank you, Sonny. Scott, most of the construction should be done by then. Yeah. Don't worry about it, buddy. It's, most all that stuff should be done. They're trying to get it done in preparation for the seventieth. So, here's hoping. <laughs> There's still time to cover that queue line for Haunted Mansion Disney. I know you can do it. More pergolas, more vines. Please, please. Please. It's like a little brick oven over there. Please. Oh, well. we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be amazing. I hope so. I hope so. Can't wait for that Nightmare Before Christmas to come back. <laughs> Give me old Jack. Hey, 35 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, yes, take care, Transit. Until next time. Other questions. Anybody not get a chance to vote yet? Let me know. Voting's still going for another half hour. So, let me know. Let me know. I'm trying to think of other tales I could tell you guys. I saw some people losing their minds in the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge line the other night. <laughs> they were like, this is amazing! <laughs> I was like, oh, they're so happy. It was nice. <laughs> Ross, he did, yeah. <laughs> He's like, and Scary Teddy's like, year round? Year round? 
I've often thought about like what if they made in Walt Disney World regular haunted and Nightmare Before Christmas right next to each other all the time. Um, yeah. I wonder what would happen. Uh, yeah, Scott, you gotta stay tuned to the channel. I've got some plans for the 60th, and I was actually on a Glamour Tram not too long ago, so you'll see that pop up in one of the videos. But yeah, I've got a little something special to show you guys. It's gonna be great. Universal is great. You can love both. You can love all theme parks. That's what I say. Yeah, Universal is, uh, it's like a good buddy at this point. I just, I love hanging out with Universal. They're always down to hang. I'm like, hey, can I come over today? And they're like, yeah, come on over, man. <laughs> I don't have to schedule a play date or anything. It's very nice. <laughs> Jurassic is there. Mummy is there. Secret Life of Pets is there. Waterworld is there. The Tram is there. There's a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Not sponsored by Universal, but... Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Yes, I've done it, I think, like three or four times. It's fantastic, Scott. If you get the chance, do it. And make sure to tell your tour guide what movies you like, even if they're not Warner Brothers properties. One of my favorites is Jurassic Park. We were talking about it earlier today. They filmed a lot of Jurassic Park on the Warner Brothers lot. And that might not be something you think of immediately when you think of Warner Brothers. So if you go, tell your uh, your guide which movies you love the most. Steamboat, you get a haunted overlay. Oh, yes. Randy, I want Frontierland to get an entire haunted overlay for Halloween. I think it'd be, like, Big Thunder is spooky, but make it spookier. People sitting in front of me had the best attraction, or best reaction. Yeah, right? It's very cute when that happens. Uh, am I using an external mic? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Crystal is bad. We met a worker that deals with characters at Nintendo World, at Street Fair in my area. His camera and the worker had on and his iPad. It was awesome. Nice. Nicole, I saw somebody um, running or helping run the uh, show for the Triwizard Tournament. They were doing a great job. June 23rd. Should be fun, but hot day. Yeah, Ross, watch out for the yellow. Watch out for the yellow in uh, Super Nintendo World. Sound is weird. Yeah, I I ate the mic. Did the did the did it just get weird, or has it been weird the whole time? I'm gonna have to like send. I have to send a Crystal like a, a check for being like our one of our producers here. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. I don't know if it's just the the phone case I have. I don't know. I don't know. The yellow ground. It's been in and out. Okay. I don't know. It's never been this bad for um, our Sunday streams. Sounds good to you. Naomi and Crystal, you guys remember you're telepathically communicating, so some of that noise gets a little tricky. So, remember that. You gotta, you gotta cut that connection for a little... Where is Joe? <laughs> um... No, Ross. No, no, no. We can't. <laughs> she doesn't want to be one. That's okay. <laughs> Face. <laughs> so funny. Other questions you guys have? Other questions? Let me know. Yeah. It's exciting. Exciting times. Fun stuff. Fun times, man. I love going to the parks. Thanks for coming along with me. These streams are going to get more and more ridiculous, I feel like, um, as far as length goes. We'll see. We shall see about that. <laughs> That's different than your normal one, Crystal. Your the emoji. You... <laughs> no, Scott. I had hoped, but it's just not going to work out financially this year. So maybe next year. Um, yeah, I want to go to Tokyo, but I also want to go to Paris. My shirt tonight, Ross. No worries, bud. It's uh, Paging Mr. Morrow shirt. It's not really like Nate Morrow's, but this is just a Tomorrowland shirt. Yeah. Again, shout out to Nate. Nate is a very, very nice guy. One of the happiest people I've ever met in my life. So I'm really hoping we can team up one day for a vlog because I think it'd be the most fun vlog ever, I think. <laughs> Jill, right? <laughs> yeah. For people who don't know, as part of the old people over there, like, paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. Get it? Tom Morrow? Tomorrow? You gotta go to you gotta go to Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom it's Tomorrowland. <laughs> it's <a> people mover. <laughs> it's great. 
I love it. I love the people mover. It's wonderful. I wish every land had a people mover. <laughs> Happy Nate, Joyful Jimmy, the collab. Randy, you let him know. I would be thrilled. We would have we'd have a bit of a ball, I think. <laughs> um a rocket rod. Yeah, these are the old school Space Mountain, like, toboggan style. Yeah. Uh, so we would like, what's the strangest place you've ever been in recognized by a fan? That's, uh, it, Sonny, that's your question. Is that your question? Um, do you remember when Tomorrowland had live bands? Yes. Yeah, they come out of the ground. <laughs> Oh, Naomi, I, that was just someone who just found the channel. Um, yeah. Uh, Sonny, I would probably say, I don't know if I would call him a fan. Uh, there was a team member the other day who I recognized from Mario Kart who was on, like, he was in the back lot. Actually, technically the front lot of the tram tour. And uh, we were going past him, and I was kind of, like, filming or I was streaming. And he was, like, kind of pretending to cover up his name. And then he's like, Jimmy? Jimmy Good? And I was like, dude, how did you remember? I was like, what? Nice, dude. Uh, he was crushing it at Mario Kart. He's one of the, like, announcers in the pre-shows. Very funny. Um, an Xbox fan, if I remember correctly. Very funny. <laughs> I was like, this guy's great. So, yeah. Um, probably that so far. Not really in public, so not yet. But maybe one day. So, it always warms my heart. Um, because it feels like I'm actually doing something with my life. So, thank you to anybody who's ever come and said hello to me. Uh, <laughs> it really means a lot. It really does. My little heart stops because I'm always thinking I'm going to the principal's office. <laughs> like, come with me. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> Albedo. Albedo. Is Albedo here? Where is Albedo? He's somewhere. Maybe he's watching in the future. Hi, future Albedo. <laughs> it's funny because later on in the comments, I'll see that he's like, hello. Hello, past Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonny, great question. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm amazed. I've had people say they're like, I love the channel. And I'm like, really? Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What are your favorite videos to watch on the channel, chat? They shout your name when you walk into Cole. <laughs> Randy. Oh, my gosh. Randy, that would be the dream. Um, have you tried many treats from Honey Dukes? Sam, I've tried a couple, but I've not tried a chocolate frog yet. And I feel like I've let down the world because of it. How about you guys? Have you tried them all? Uh, Naomi, I don't think I did. Naomi, did you? I thought it would have been that crazy family that ran up to you in front of the Matterhorn and stood behind you making funny faces. <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> Thoughts on knots? I think I remember you said you went once. Nicole, I did, and it's actually on my friend Chris's channel. We did a video on it. I thought it was pretty good. Some of the stuff that I got to witness. I'm just not a huge, like, I'm really into theming. And if a roller coaster doesn't have a theming, I'm just, I'm out. I know it's not the reason for roller coasters to be, it's like the thrill and stuff, but, and not that Knott's only has roller coasters, but from the things like the train ride, the Calico train ride, and then like the, the log shoot ride, and Ghost Rider was pretty good. Yeah, that's fun. And the boys bear sounds tasty. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you during a live stream? Um, lag, lagging out. I always feel, I honestly always feel embarrassed. <laughs> is that is that track? Uh, Lonnie and Lily tried the chocolate frog, and yeah, Naomi, right? You tell him. You tell Chris. I'll do it anytime. Butterbeer, normal or frozen? Normal, but warm. Hot butterbeer is the way to go. I'm trying to think of other funny things that have happened to me during a live stream. Maybe when Bethany just conks out. When Bethany just is like, <laughs> I'm like, no. Eliza was too big. Oh. Hey, Pixie Dust. Oh my gosh, Randy. Pixie Dust to make Crystal come back. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Randy. Hopefully she comes back. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, thank you. Guys, give Randy some love. Randy, you're so supportive all the time, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Tried a few from Honey Dukes. Blood Lollipop is foul. Whoa. Rough. Ugh. That sounds rough. That'd be a fun video, though. Buy one of everything and then try them out. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Janet, I look away for five minutes. <laughs> oh, get, getting them. I think the best thing that happens anytime somebody super chats is that mom says something. To me, intrinsically, that I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, there she is. 
The butterbeer fudge is good. I've had the butterbeer fudge. It is delicious. I thought it was. I'm a, I love, I love a good confectionery fudge. It's too tasty. Um, um, on Jimmy and my behalf. <laughs> do you have a go-to dance move when you're celebrating a milestone or achievement on your channel? Hansons, do you want to know something? I talked about this a little bit. I do this thing called the Patreon dance or the patron dance. I swear, I really do it every time we get a new one. For any level, I do this little, like, I do a little, like, little dancey thing. But if I am caught, if someone's like, Jimmy, start dancing right now, I start with the shoulders, right? Little Jimmy shimmy, right? Maybe move to the two-finger point. Because it's like, where are the bathrooms? They're over there. They're over there. They're over there. That kind of thing. So, yeah. I bust out the more um, advanced moves later. So, yeah, new patron dance. I'm always like, whoo. You should see me by my computer. If anything pops, I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> Do mom walk wet goldens? Lots of rain today. Check out walking with goldens to find out. Check out, type in walking with goldens on Google. Tell her Jimmy said you. Hey, Pokemon, hello. The Jimmy Shimmy. The two finger point. Yeah, Sam and Alexis, you guys can do it too. The Jimmy Shimmy. Ooh. We should do that for universal rides, maybe. I'm working on a top tenner for another uh, video, but uh, I won't say what it is for. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, bust that Jimmy Shimmy out. Weddings, um, any sort of celebration, you want to do the Jimmy Shimmy. Pokemon, how are you today? Pokemon, tonight we're voting on this if you want to. Uh, between these three categories of rides, dark ride, boat ride, or roller coaster, what's your favorite? You don't have to say why, but if you want to, I'd love to hear it. I really would. I love I love hearing people's reasons. Top 10 parking space. <laughs> I got to do some. The parking lot videos do better than any of them. Most of those people I don't think subscribe to the channel though, so <laughs> they see the video and they're like, thanks. <laughs> That's okay. They are there to serve them. I want to help people. Yeah. Not the most attractive, uh, you know, video for some where it's like, yeah, dude, it's just a parking lot. But like for some people who are new, they're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I, I don't, I've never been to Universal before. Where do I park? Do a video where you Jimmy shimmy on as many rides as possible the whole ride long. <laughs> Me on pirates. <laughs> Just 16 minutes. Ha, ah, ah. ha. My shoulders, they're broken. Pokemon, just uh, in general, do you like boat rides over roller coasters or prefer dark rides over boat rides? I know some of them are hybrids, but tonight we're just keeping it simple. Keeping it simple. Also, shout out to uh, Mrs. Pokemon and the Pokemon family. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to all of them, all right? If anybody else is watching tonight, too, that's uh, watching along with you, Hanson's, please, no, gosh, please. Uh, <laughs> time to jump off and have dinner. Thank you for, uh, all for supporting Jimmy. Have dinner on the Hanson family. Come on, guys, please, no, you're going to make me cry. Please, no, thank you. Guys, Hanson's, you just, you just you being here is good. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, my little heart. Oh, my gosh. Please, I can't. I see it over on that monitor, too. Ah, it's too much. Thank you. Ah, my little heart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I deserve it, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Dark roller coaster. Do roller coasters your Pokemon? Guys, give some love to the Hansons, please. I know you're doing it, but more, please. Um, a very interesting jolting experience. We could try it. <laughs> you're breaking me. It's like, I hope it is conveyed. It's truly how I feel. My whole body sees this. Did you see? I did. I like, I. Um, is there any ride you do not care for at Disneyland? Like maybe the Mickey Death Wheel. Uh, yeah. I've never ridden it, Jen. But yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> Jen, do you really want me? Should we talk about it? We could talk about it. Some of the people here know. Hansons are beyond awesome. They are. Thank you, Hansons. Love you guys. I, I hope I can see you guys again soon. Sonny, I'm sure we'll talk soon. Um, rock and roller coasters, so good. So Pokemon, you say roller coasters? Love to Sunny, Amy, and the Almighty T. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And the whole family. The whole family. Ah! Um, ah! My little heart. <laughs> when he said the Mickey Death, the Mickey Death Wheel, the Mickey Wheel of Death. Yes, it is, it is fast. I told Katie... The next time she comes out here, we would do that together. So I've been saving it. Because I don't think I've ever done it. 
If you're unfamiliar, it's the Pixar Pal round. There's swinging and non-swinging sides. I think I need someone else to film me doing it because it's terrifying. Um, thank you, guys. Oh, that's very sweet. That's incredibly sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, um, rides, like, I can find fun on any ride, I think, truly. There's some I just don't enjoy as much. I know some people here will be like, well, Jimmy, you, like, hate the canoes or you hate the teacups. I don't hate those rides. I really don't hate them because I didn't love them, right? I'm sorry, Jen. I'm sorry. You'll be fine, Jen. Um, we'll never do it again. Not knowing it was swinging? Oh, my gosh. That's okay, Skywalker. More for you. I think there's, it's all who you're with, right? But I go alone a lot, so I can really be objective about these things. And by objective, I mean subjective, because we have no such thing as objectivity, because we only see through our subjective lens. Um, however, yeah, I'm not going to wait in line for canoes if I'm by myself. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, like the swings, a lot of the flat rides at DCA... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Naomi, no, no, it's like, I, I say that, but Katie would probably be the one. She's on one side. I'm on the other. Katie, hold on. It'd be very metal. Um, yeah, maybe one day. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just trying to lure Katie out here, you know? So, uh, yeah. How about you guys? Are there any rides at Disneyland or DCA or Universal that you're like, nah, bro, no thanks? I think we have it on rec a record that you would uh, fill the river with, ch wait, with chocolate? Or with concrete, just get rid of the canoes. Randy, do we have that on record? <laughs> if so, I stand by it. <laughs> Jen, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, Naomi, that would be too much. It'd be too much to have you there. No, no, no. I can't. I don't think I need, I can't have an audience besides Katie. I don't think. I would try to be very calm and collected if you were there. Now, if there was a get into the park free for riding that ride, I would do it just to get the park. Yeah, right? Nemo for the Hufflepuffs. <laughs> Wait, Jan, what? The subs are a no for me as well as the Death Wheel. Jen, fair enough. Yeah, if you um if you don't like enclosed spaces, the subs are not good. Wheeled canoes. <gasps> we could put a go-kart track on the rivers of America. Um we don't ride Nemo. Janet, we should we could go do the um the observation deck. We could do that instead. So it's like the Nemo experience without the whole sub thing. I don't know. Maybe we could do that. Don't ride with people who swing it. Uh, it's not too bad. I can handle the motion. Yeah, I know some people who like to, to swing it. Yeah, no. 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 Naomi's on board. Perfect. Uh, we haven't done the observation deck. Janet, I think you guys, you would, you'd like it. It's fine. Yeah. I don't like to go on as much as Pinocchio. You don't hate it. Yeah, Skywalker, it does bum me out a little. But I like Monstro. You won't ever ride Guardians. Fair enough, Janet. I wrote it recently. <laughs> I mean, he's right. Um, <laughs> Keith. Keith said something to me that was genuinely hilarious the other night. Oh, boy. I can't say it here, but it's very fun. I only skipped the Haunted Mansion. Ride everything else. Yeah, Naomi, that is quite the take. She'll ride it. We'll get her on there. Canoe cruisers. Canoe cruisers. <laughs> Keith, you can talk me up eventually. Well, <laughs> bring eventual girlfriend to Disney. You just lean over and you're like, I know that you and Jimmy just started dating, but I just want you to know this. <laughs> He's definitely not. No. <laughs> Keith, I love you so much, Keith. Keith, I've had other people tell me how much they also love you, so it's not just me. They do have stationary cars in the Pixar Power Round, so it's not too bad riding them. Yeah, maybe that's like, if you are afraid of the Pixar Power Round, maybe start with that one. HP is the abbreviation for Hufflepuff, and Harry Potter's abbreviation is HP. Enough said. <laughs> Turbo Toad Canoe Cruisers. Yes. Mr. Toad put an outboard motor on the canoes. Now I'm on board. <gasps> Somebody dressed up as Toad running the back? 
All I'm saying is, I walk enough at Disneyland. I don't want to do manual labor, too. That's just a personal preference. If we could do nighttime canoes, I'm in. Amphibious assault? Sounds great. If it's 90 degrees and I'm out in the sun on the water? <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a mistake, or I have friends who want to go. That is how it goes. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold. Oh, I love hearing these. I want to hear these, uh, these, uh, these hot takes. What other rides do you not want to go on? Yeah, dressed as Jay Thaddeus, Naomi, <laughs> in the back with the outboards. Johnny, good show. Just cranks it. I would be thrilled. I would be thrilled. Yeah, I'm sorry. A little wackadoo. I think in a previous life, I had an unfortunate skydiving accident or something. I hate drops, Janet. That's okay. Jana, I used to not like the feeling of drops myself. My mom can attest to this. But I've kind of gotten over it a little bit. I start to enjoy it. Um, you won't ride Silly Symphony. Yes, Sam, I'm the same way. I'm just, I, I don't like swings. They make me sick. And I know that the swings at Silly Symphony aren't like back and forth swings, but... Um, vlog, uh, vlog Provost vlogging the canoes. Bricks, J Bricks, you tell him. I will do it. I have filmed for him in the past, so <laughs> it's not out of the realm of possibility. What is the lip sync equivalent to paddling? Just <laughs> right, Randy? Yeah. Alani loves my shirt. Hey, Alani. Alani, my buddy. How you doing, pal? Shout out to Alani. Uh, I will go on a credit coaster, but sometimes it gives me a headache on the loop. Oh, uh, yeah, Skywalker. I'm sorry. Janet, I would ride it with you. I don't know. If, did you say you've ever ridden it before? I will ride it with you. Here's the thing about Guardians. It is scary. I think Chris even said this recently. It is so scary until you get on it and then it's fun. The music starts playing and it's a fun time. The buildup is still Tower of Terror. The buildup is still spooky and creepy. And then you get in it and it's like, it's fun. Yeah. Janet, it's just up and downs. You don't really know how high up you are until they open the doors. And even then it's quick. If we go at night, it's not really that bad. So... If you're with me, I'll, I'll be there. You can hold my hand. I'll be, I'll be like, Jan, I'm here. I've been getting so good at it, I don't even put my hands down. I keep them up the whole time. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. Hey, Jen, guess what? You're wonderful, all right? That, that's, that's the truth, all right? That is the truth. Yeah. Um, I love these hot takes, though. I love it. You know what? One of our moderators does not enjoy the Haunted Mansion. She's like one in 20 people who doesn't enjoy the Haunted Mansion. It's amazing. What are the odds of that? I know, right? It's great. I love it. It gives you perspective. I love perspective. People come to me all the time and they tell me how much they hate the Matterhorn. Does it diminish my love for it? Of course not. All right? I love the Matterhorn. <gasps> love it. White knuckle my seat. Just like how I fly on planes. Yeah. Yeah. Did I miss something from Ross? I'm sorry if I did. My mom went on um, when it was Tower of Terror and she was holding her backpack and squeezed her lotion bottle so hard it uh, blew up in her bag. Oh my gosh. The pixie dust worked. She's back. Is Guardians the only time Chris Pratt let you down and up and down? Randy, yes. My close personal friend Chris has never let me down more than that moment, but Ooh. should I make that? Has anybody made that joke on Instagram to him? I kind of want to. Can I borrow that? I have a friend who doesn't like the Pirates ride. I was like, um, what? Doesn't like Pirates of the Caribbean? Jen, fair enough. Some people get a little spooked out by the drops and darkness. I personally love that. Tracy from Fort Lauderdale. Tracy, how you doing? Fort Lauderdale. Ma, listen to this. Fort Lauderdale. That's fantastic. How are you, Tracy? Thanks for stopping by. Tracy, would you like to vote tonight? You could vote for one of three, either dark rides, boat rides, or roller coasters as your favorite. And if you want to say why, you can tell us why. You went to make yourself a little snack. Crystal, the moment you left, um, someone in the chat was starting to get very worried. I'm not going to name any names, but... You know. Uh, <laughs> time to find a new friend. <laughs> Naomi Brutal. You know what? I'm, pr I'm proud of Alani. Alani did some great drive the other night, and she did a brutal, um, uh, what's the word, abandonment of Indiana Jones. 
Oh, you gave up on Goofy Sky School? Yeah. That's a scary one. You vote for boat? You vote for boat. Nothing wrong with a boat vote. Boat vote is now in its second column. Boat vote. Tracy, a good boat ride. Nice. Tracy, look what you look what you did here. You got boats into its second column. We get up to ten and then we start a new one. That's great. I don't know if we've ever had that happen. Maybe once before we've had it two of them go over ten. Grapes, watermelon, and pineapple? Crystal, you trying to make a jungle julep? Oh man, that sounds fantastic. Uh Crystal, and for everybody else, red grapes or green grapes? Which do you prefer? I wanna know. I'm more of a red grape man myself, but I like green grapes too. I know there's a lot of different types of grapes, but for just regular consumption. Crystal, you're green, huh? Oh, muy fuego. Ah, that's nice. That's good. That's good. Both colors on different occasions. Well, Jen, Jen, I gotta, I'm sorry I have to ask a follow up. What are the different occasions? Svetlana. Oh, that's cool. Keith says green, the girls say red, I say raisins. <laughs> She's just raising awareness. That's from Michael. I can't take that. These grapes are huge. Oh, good. I love a huge grape. There are also black. <laughs> Naomi, I know. We're just doing between red and green. <laughs> we talk. I know. We talked to her about this, but she... I know she's supposed to support me, but she's just... She's going off. She goes off the handle. Uh, red with Gouda, L screen. Ooh, Randy, what a bougie answer. Cotton candy grapes, bricks and joysticks. There we go. I remember that one. Latvia. Svetlana, I will try to remember that. Red grapes go with cheese and are wonderful frozen. Green grapes are good everyday grade. No, you're not odd at all, Jen. That's amazing. Thank you for that. I loved hearing that. That's so cool. It's just like when you, when I hear an answer like that, all I can think is like, I gotta know more. You know, like if someone was like, I don't ride Pirates of the Caribbean anymore after the incident, they'd be like, I got to know what the incident was. You know, like I got to, I got to have a follow up. I'm like, excuse me, question. Hello. Naomi, red or green grapes? Do you have to choose? Have I been to Disneyland in Tokyo? Uh, Svetlana, not yet, but one day I hope. I hope so. Yeah. I don't think they can stream over there, but... I'll just stream from the, the hotel room, and then I will vlog everything else. It would be so much fun. Yeah. I, I love it. Naomi, gotta choose one. Naomi doesn't try to be difficult, but she knows I guess will completely derail the host. <laughs> That's the thing with her. I can give her two options, and she's like, actually, there's a third one. That's why I try to be very straightforward with my questioning. And she's in the teaching business, so she, she knows. Cotton candy grapes are the bee's knees. I like it. Uh, Tracy, I don't, or sorry, Svetlana. Um, my mom has four dogs, four golden retrievers. Uh, Sammy, yeah, Sam, he's amazing. He's the youngest of the troop. He is great, and I love him. He's such a good boy. He is the epitome of the golden retriever paw. Like, if you're sitting there and he comes up to you, he'll be like, he's like trying to put his paw on you. If you try to ignore him, he'll just... <laughs> yeah I love him I love him I miss him very much Sam, Gus, Ranger, and Lily all incredible all very unique and different characters Ugh, I miss having dogs in my life on a daily basis if you have a dog in your life I'm envious of you snack smack Randy go get a good snack get a good one I'm still on for another like three minutes at least do I have any cats, Svetlana? No, I don't like cats. Do you like cats? I'm sorry, it's one of my own. <laughs> Chris Pratt for real. Hey, Jimmy Big Fan. Chris, thank you for being here, man. <laughs> Chris, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Chris. Chris, if only. Chris, if only. It's the real Chris Pratt. The four reels with a Z is what clinches it for me. I know it's him. Chris, thanks for dropping by. Chris, you want to vote in on this? 
You like dark rides, boat rides, or roller coasters most? Uh, I like Runaway Railway, but I wish it had more physical sets instead of screens and that it was more thrilling. Skywalker couldn't agree more. Yeah, my pleasure. Anytime. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Chris, I'll be honest with you. I would like to say this from the bottom of my heart. I think you're a talented guy, and I envy and respect your career. You're fantastic. You are fantastic, and I hope we can work together someday. That would be so, so fun. You and me. With Oscar Isaac doing a space heist. I mean, come on. Boat rides, okay. I'm putting Chris Pratt down for boat rides, so... I mean, that's just what the internet is saying right now. Thanks, Chris. Chris, you want to go ride Pirates of the Caribbean someday together? That'd be fun. You and me, bud. Chris, do you know all the words to Pirates of the Caribbean? If not, I can teach you. Svetlana, I don't know Mr. Beast. I did have someone confuse me for him once, but it's probably because I was just holding a camera. I don't think I really look a lot like him, but it was nice. <laughs> you think he would have? Do you think he would have said coaster? I don't know. Why would he lie? Why would he lie to us? I don't think he would. It's so funny. From RDJ, let's work together. Oh, he remembers me from Oppenheimer. That's so nice. I would love to. Let's work together. You and me. What do you want to do? Let's do it. Jimmy ofs them. Naomi, I don't of them at all. That's another 10 hours on your probationary period. This reminds me of a commenter on my channel named Michael Jackson Alive. <laughs> he always comments, I love it. <laughs> it's so bad. South Florida. Um, Sadie, hi, how are you? How are you, Sadie? We could ride Jurassic. Oh, Chris, that makes perfect sense. Oh, I would love to ride Jurassic with you. That would be, that would be a dream come true. Um... Yeah, that would be... I was thinking about that the other day when I was riding it. I was like, I would love to ride... I would love to interview you on there, too. That'd be great. Sadie, are you with the family tonight? And if not, it's all good. I just need you... I need your vote. I need your vote. You might tie-break some of this. You might set the stage for an upset. If somebody clips this and sends this to Chris Brad, <laughs> I'll be like, uh, um... Your favorite dino? Blue is your favorite dino, Chris. Right? She's gotta be. Think about your vote. Yeah, Sadie, take your time. A water ride interview. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I'll be like, so like... <laughs> what is it like to be in the physical manifestation of one of your films? <laughs> that profile picture, Chris, you, you've never looked better. You've never looked better. Very dramatic... I kind of want to try it myself. Black and white, just straight on the screen. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's the one. There we go. Oh, hi, Peter. How are you? Svetlana, I'm going to try to remember that's your name. It's not Tracy. It's Svetlana. What? Is Tracy just like a fun... Is that just like a nickname or something? Have we talked about this before? We might have. We may have. I apologize if that's the case. Uh, more questions if you've got them, guys. Let me know. Or if you have questions for Chris, of course. This is, uh, it's the first time we've ever had a major celebrity in the chat, besides my mom, of course, who is the greatest of all celebrities. Um, Hottest Man Alive 2019. Ugh. Well, Chris, you know what, buddy? I don't think it was just 2019, but I don't know. I think it's been consecutive years. At least it has been for this group, right, guys? Yeah, Stamos is not going to be here today, I don't think. John, he just couldn't make it. I don't know. Something about a full house? I don't know. It's a friend's nickname. Okay. Well, I'm sorry if in the future I call you Tracy again. <laughs> you might have to keep reminding me. I'll try to get it locked down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're over time. We always, I always do this. Uh... Tom? Tom? I don't know who. Sam, thank you. Thank you. I'm the fastest in the West. Yeah. Hey, Chris, thank you. I appreciate it. Chris, seriously, man, you and me together. I'm sure they won't show this on some 
Tonight Show or Evening Show in the future and be like, well, Jimmy actually manifested his his uh, movie with Chris. <laughs> I'll be like, um, Tom Holland or Tom Hanks? Ooh. I kind of love both. They're both kind of great. I don't know. All right, see, of course, the Ami and Chris will be a roller coaster for Sadie. Okay. Okay. Cool. Sadie. There we go. Um, Jefferson and Tammy. Oh, well, a shout out to Tef or Jefferson and Tammy. There we go. I was oh, mixed around. Tammy, hi. Jefferson, hi. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Gustavo, is that you? Gustavo. Gustavo. Oh. Obrigado, moi amigo. What is up? Shout out to Gustavo and Monica. Love them. We were just talking about Jurassic with the real Chris Pratt here, and I think of you guys passing by just to say hi. Gustavo, much love to you, my friend. My heart goes down to you. All the way over in South America. So cool. Ugh. One day, man. Brazil. Let's go. I wonder if in Brazil they call Brazilian barbecue just barbecue. <laughs> Who did you say is the most famous person you've ever met? Uh, Skywalker, my mom. But you mean like on a movie set? Guys, I miss you too. Gustavo, please. I miss you and Monica very much. My sister Margaret is saying hi to you. Hi, Margaret. Hello. Margaret's a pretty name. That's a nice name. Margaret. Yeah, Gustavo. Gustavo, every time you show up here, I feel like I just immediately get hungrier. Because I'm like, I bet Gustavo's making some good food. That's what I'm always thinking. Ugh. Our resident chef. Ugh. What if we could do a group meetup and I could pay Gustavo to make us all food? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that would be amazing. I might cry. I Well, no, I would cry. I would cry for sure. I'm sorry this is all I can afford. <laughs> Chris, come on, dude. I can't, dude. Chris, thank you, Chris. Chris, thank you. Chris, that's... Oh, my gosh. No, Chris. We're good. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Can I... <laughs> thank you, Chris. Chris, buddy. Dude, your presence is enough. Chris. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, a Brazilian barbecue. I love it. Um, uh, Naomi, uh, constantly hungry. My sister was born. Are you, oh, okay, your sister. That's cool. Um, Chris, thank you. Chris, thank you. Chris, I just appreciate your time being here. I know you're a busy guy. Chris, you're going to be voicing Garfield in that new Garfield movie. That's amazing. Chris, you have gotten so much work. I respect it so much. Good on you. Skywalker, she is. She is. Uh, I could tell you, I'm trying to think of who the most, it'd probably be Christopher Nolan. I know he's not um, an actor, but still, it was a pleasure to get to work with him. Work for him, really. Yeah. Um, Chris, I know you're doing, you, uh, Chris, you're, you're, you do so much, you know? I don't know how you keep it all straight, buddy. It's amazing. You got Guardians, you got Mario, you got Garfield. You did Onward. You've done... There's so many things. Yes! Oh, Randy, that's very true. Gustavo, if you're still with us, he might have... Hi. Gustavo, let us know if you're still here. We've got a question for you before you go, unless you're already gone. Which, that's okay. If that's the case. Yeah, Jurassic. Of course, Chris. Yeah. I was thinking... Chris, I'm envious of you, too, because you're also, like, in multiple theme park attractions. That's like a dream. It was my birthday last Wednesday, and yesterday we partied in a Brazilian barbecue and sushi, all you can eat. Oh my gosh. Gustavo, do you want me to sing you happy birthday, first and foremost? And Gustavo, do you prefer red grapes or green grapes more? I know there are different types of grapes, but between those two. Happy belated birthday, Gustavo. Chris, you like red? You and me both, brother. I like green grapes too, but red. Yeah. Do you, I think we should sing to Gustavo. I think we need to. Gustavo, do you want a song? It's his belated birthday. He gets to choose. Maybe he doesn't want to be serenaded. Green grapes all the way, Gustavo. I love that commitment. Good on you. Oh. 
I can already see the dishes he uses with the green grapes. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Chris is singing. He wants to sing. This is one of the funny... Chris, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen on a stream. Red grapes? Only in a glass. Oh my gosh. Gustavo, that is the bougiest answer, and I love it. I We might disagree on it, but that's okay, bud. That's totally fine. Happy birthday, dear Gustavo. Gustavo, if you want us to sing, I will sing for you. Wine lover spotted. Cha cha cha. <laughs> that all I can afford thing. It was killing me. <laughs> My brain is like, be professional, keep it going. But it's... all right, Gustavo wants a song. Everybody, we are going to sing "Happy Birthday" to Gustavo on the count of three. Sing along at home. All right, ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Gustavo. Happy birthday to you and many more. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, Gustavo. <laughs> Monica singing, yay. I bet she has the voice of an angel. Yeah. Happy birthday. To our resident chef. I feel like I'm putting that on you, but you are in my heart. So, Gustavo, son of my love, buddy. Happy birthday. All you can eat sushi? My gosh, Crystal, you hear about this? Did you hear about this? It's incredible. That's great. Gustavo, if you have to go, I understand. But just know that you are loved and I appreciate you, right? The love and appreciation is there. Gustavo is such a cool name, too. Man, I love it. I love that name. Um, yeah, Crystal Jelly. I get it. Only $26? For what? What's happened? $26? Did I, do I owe you $26, Gustavo? Oh, it's $26 for all you can eat sushi? Crystal, my dear. That seems like a bit of a steal. That's, in, that's incredible. That's incredible. All you can eat sushi for 26 bucks. Most of my meals are 26 hundred. <laughs> Chris, what are you eating these days, bud? Chris, what are you eating? Is it, I know you're so fit. Is it mostly just chicken? Like just chicken and egg whites? Cause Chris, I'll be honest with you, buddy. I'm not eating that so far. One day, if the studios pay for it, I'll get in shape. But right now I'm on the um the scavenger diet so yeah oh let's go to the asian buffet crystal sushi at a buffet feels like a little bit of a, a little bit of a coin toss <laughs> but i would try it i would try it uh brazilian barbecue inclu including wagyu wait they had wagyu steak at the all you can eat brazil oh, for 26 dollars oh my gosh it's incredible good stuff straight caviar with shaved gold flakes on top chris only the best for the best and truffle sauce of course Protein shakes and green grapes. That sounds like a rap song. Get your protein shakes and your green grapes. Uh, Naomi, I I won't judge if that's what you like. If you like gas station sushi. She brought it up. It's her favorite? Really? Okay. Come to Brazil. It's very cheap. And, oh my gosh. That what a killer vlog that would be, Brazil. Oh, why doesn't like Disney needs a, a theme park in Brazil? Theme park sushi? Mm? <laughs> I know some people who eat theme park sushi. <laughs> Gustavo, no. I like the no. Again, chat. While we're still going over this, uh, any other questions you have for me about theme parks, about myself? I mean, voting has kind of ceased for now, but if anybody needs last-minute votes, we'll put them in. I'll announce those winners here in a couple of minutes. Gas station sushi is a delicacy for us celebs. <laughs> that's so funny. It'll never come to Brazil. That's too bad, Gustavo, because, like, Walt himself came with his animators way back in the 40s, so... Right? Late 30s, early 40s? If I'm not mistaken? Yeah. 
it seems like fertile ground for it, but I don't know. Oh, what a crazy park that would be. Oh, Soka, I see. Hmm, well, that's too bad. Well, Gustavo, that just means you have to come back to the States for now. Or go to Japan, or China, or France. Jimmy, we're going to eat dinner. Thank you for the stream. Good night, chat friends. Uh, Janet, I hope... Well, I miss you guys, too. I know we saw each other not too long ago, but I miss you guys, too. I'm sending my love. Keith, could you do me a favor? Just pick Alani up and, you know, walk with her somewhere. Just take her. And Janet, just go put a, a hand on Lily's shoulder and be like, Lily, you're such a good co-pilot on Falcon. You just liked... Did you just like the channel, Chris? Chris, if you want to... Thank you. Th oh, hey, 41 likes. Thank you so much. Uh, Sam, goodbye. Alexis, bye bye. Um, bye to Bowie. <laughs> Just bye to Bowie. That's so cute. Next poll: Where do you want to eat sushi? Dark ride, coaster, and boat ride. America in September. Yes. You guys got to come back to California, please, please. I can't believe it worked out that night. Ugh, I'll never forget it. Chris, you're so nice. You're so you're already integrated into the chat. I love it. Thank you, Chris. Good guy. Chris, a man of the people. He's a man of the people. All right? Yeah, you're going to Orlando this time. Yeah, I know. Oh, you'll have such a fun time. You'll have so much fun. Yeah, bye, Sam. Bye, Alexis. Thank you so much for being here. And again, Sam, thanks for filming that today for me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Oh, Gustavo, no, you're the best. I'm just here. I'm just here. Just thank you for being here, buddy. Again, happy belated birthday. All you can eat sushi, Brazilian barbecue, and Wagyu steak for 26 bucks. <sighs> yeah, Gustavo. I'll see you next week. For the people, dude. Man of the people, for the people. Your father-in-law does keep you in mind. Yeah, what is Thanksgiving like? I was so curious about that. Sorry, Chris, to just I I'm sure many people have asked, but Chris, yeah. I just want to know. Gustavo, love you too, buddy. For people who don't know, if I'm not mistaken, um, we're talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger now, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Ugh, I would just, I would love to be at the holidays for that. That'd be fun. Maybe Thanksgiving. Christmas is always with mom, you know, hands down. I don't, I don't care if all the celebrities got together and had like a Christmas slumber party and invited me and they're like, Jimmy, you have to be there. I'd be like, I'm hanging out with my mom. If my mom can come, then well, I'll be there, but. It's just how I do it. Yep. Good old Arnie. You call, oh, you call him Arnie. Okay. Gotcha. Crystal, I don't know if you should bring that up right now. Crystal, he's, Crystal, don't scare him away. <laughs> Every time he gets up to go to the bathroom, he says, I'll be back. <laughs> Does he look right in your eyes when he says it? It's beautiful. I can't. I can't. My heart. <laughs> it's very funny. It's one of the funniest streams we've ever done. Um, and it has little to do with yours truly. So, all right, we're going to go until 7.30. So, like, 15 more minutes, and then I'll announce the winners, and then we'll wrap up the stream. We'll wrap it up. Wrap it up. And you guys can get on with your Sunday. <laughs> Put that cookie down. Which which movie is that from again, Chris? I can't remember. I remember the line. Is that from Jingle All the Way? I'd love to talk to Arnold about his time in Minnesota filming that film because as a native Minnesotan, you know, there's a lot of uh, landmarks there, which makes me happy. Warms my little heart. Warms my little heart. Yeah, jingle all the way. Okay, good. Excellent. Chris, I can see you. Oh my gosh, you guys should do a movie together. Have you not done a movie together yet? You oh my gosh, like he's like your your cool father-in-law who you're trying to impress, you know? Like just real life into movie. That'd be great. Ugh. I would love to sit at that at that dining room table though and watch the sparks fly. Maybe one day. That'd be great. Chris, I will be looking forward to you um, commenting about tonight's stream on one of your social media platforms. 
I, re I appreciate that, man. I hate to put it on you, but I mean, this is an amazing opportunity for me, so I should at least take it, you know? So thank you, Chris. Thanks for being here. Everybody, let me know what your favorite Chris Pratt movie is. Yeah, pitch the idea to him. See if he's in, you know? Knows uh, Spole is going to end. <laughs> Wait. Randy, you know how it's going to end? Randy, thank you for being here, man. Thanks for the support, as always. I appreciate you. Jurassic World 1. Crystal, I love how much you love that. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I don't know where Jurassic World 1 ranks for me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. My favorite? Maybe one of the Guardians? I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I have to think about that for a while. A lot of good options. A lot of good options. Yeah. Aw. Chris, you're so nice to these people you're just meeting. I appreciate that, man. Is he leaving? We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. They come and they go. That's the thing. People come and they go. And that's all right. The streams serve them. That's how it works. That is how it works. Yeah. Oh, Parks and Recreation. That's your favorite? It's not a movie, but yeah, that's, I mean, technically, that's that's a great way to showcase off your skills. You're great in it. You summoned her back, Randy. That was very nice. Just threatened to leave. If anybody threatens to leave, we all get very worried. We're like, where are you going? People have lives. They've got stuff to do, all right? They've got stuff to do. Again, if you haven't voted yet, time is dwindling. You only have, like... Eight minutes left-ish or so. I don't, know. I don't know. Who makes up the rules here? I guess I do. I guess I do. Hmm. Not sure. Uh, let's see. Um, again, other final questions for me? Other thoughts, feelings? What, oh, yeah, I was asking this earlier. What types of videos on the channel do you guys prefer the most? The vlogs, the essays, the live streams? I guess they're not technically videos. But, um, <laughs> this is the Minnesota goodbye. We just started at the very beginning of the stream. So long it takes. I love a Minnesota goodbye. Threatening the <laughs> Randy, please, you didn't have to do that. Randy, thank you. Thank you, sir. Hold on. I can't. I gotta like. I wanna like it. There we go. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's so kind of you. Ghost ready for live streams. Guys, yeah, give love to Randy. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Randy, when are you back from sabbatical? I are you back yet? Under the wire win. Okay, seriously. Randy, you'll be missed. All right, bye, buddy. I like being able to say goodbye to all of you guys, like, one at a time. It's very nice. We love Randy. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal remembers. Crystal's got a great memory. I can tell you that much. She has a wonderful memory. Very, very good. It's very impressive. You're back living the MN life again? Yes! Ugh, get back to it, buddy. Cool. Maybe go back up to Urban Wolf sometime. Tell him Jimmy sent you. Or Sparky's. Oh, oh, Sparky's. Step away for a little. Uh, no, no worries. No, Ghost Rider. It's okay. We're just chatting. We're having a good time. Chris Pratt is here tonight, chatting with us. It is him for reals. If it's not him, I will be heartbroken. But it has to be him, so I'm not too worried. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, Chris, I just mean in general. Just in general. Chris, yes? Did you have something you want to say? Chris, if you have a question for me, I would love it. I would I would be honored to, to get a question from you, man. Honored. Chris, if I remember correctly, were you born in Minnesota? I don't know if you grew up there. I could be wrong about this, but... Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. All the best people are from Minnesota. Crystal. I don't know about that. I think you have a, I think you have a great memory. I punch up. 2024. Ghost Rider, yes. 
please. Um, I'm trying to think of other uh, things I could talk to you guys about for this week. Very exciting. You're gonna... Chris, you gotta fact check that? I guess you were only a baby at the time, so like you might not recall that. Ghost, we just sang for Gustavo. <laughs> yeah, Gustavo was celebrating his birthday. It was last week. He was telling us that he got to go to an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet that had Wagyu beef and a Wagyu steak and Brazilian barbecue for 26 US dollars. Which is insane. Oh my gosh. If they had that here, it'd be a lot more. Chris, did you figure it out? Do you remember now? Again, guys, if you have questions for Chris, this is like, I mean, I'm just, I'm here. I'm happy to be here, but like, like, this is a, a great opportunity to ask away. Chris, I guess my question is, what is it like to be able to entertain the planet? How does that make you feel? He's going to ask his parents, yeah. I hope I can go back to Mall of America again. Uh, I was there back in December, or January. I was in there in January, but I haven't been for a bit. I rode one ride. I didn't even film it. I just rode it. My brothers and I grew up in Virginia, Minnesota. I was going to say, I thought you were born there. Maybe you grew up there. So you did. So you are a Minnesotan in some way, in some fashion. That's great, Chris. We have that in common. You and me, buddy. Minnesota bros. That could be the name of our film, our space heist film. <laughs> Minnesota Bros. Eh, I don't know if that plays very well. Oh well. It's a working title. I'll work on the screenplay. Oh, so. uh, they don't have the Screaming Eagle anymore. No, they don't, Ghost Rider. Good memory, though. Yeah. The, yeah, the yellow and blue Screaming Eagle. Ugh. What a ride. I don't know if I ever wrote it. I saw it a lot, but I don't know if I ever wrote it. Yeah, it's intense. It's intense. Yeah, the Mall of America is really cool. <laughs> it really is. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah. Uh, when they replaced everything with like Nickel uh, Nickelodeon Universe, they kind of rethemed a bunch of rides, and that was one of them that was like rethemed. I think they might have even changed it out completely. I think it's called Shredder's Revenge now. Maybe we're back. Shredder's Revenge. Look up Shredder's Revenge, and that might be, or maybe that's not it. I don't remember. You, me, Arnie, and RDJ in comedy called Minnesota Bros. Chris. That would be amazing. Chris, I would love to. Crystal, if you ever want to, they're there for you. I'd love to hear what you think if you do watch him. Yes, he is. He's famous mostly in my heart, but he is known for many starring roles in many uh, big blockbuster films, such as the Jurassic World series and the Guardians of the Galaxy. To name a few. He's been in a bunch of other stuff, though. And he's been in a lot of television uh, before that, even. So, yeah. He's been working for a long time. My theme park would have a ride called... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Greg? Is that the one? Isn't that over at Knott's? Of course. Um, His Mario is your favorite. Naomi, it's your favorite? Wow, that's... That's something. Wow. Naomi. It's a bold statement. Naomi, it's so fascinating to hear your thoughts on things. <laughs> it sounds so bad. I really mean it. I do. I do like to hear it. <laughs> oh, boy. Woo. Um, Moneyball. Yeah, right? Chris, you blowing kisses. Oh, come on now. Chris, you stop it. Chris, you stop it. Chris is great. You know, Chris, that Chris actually manifested something himself. He talked about being in Jurassic Park 4 um, back in the day. On like a little kind of somebody filmed him talking like on the phone to Steven Spielberg. It's very funny. Have liked the stream. It's good for your career. Yeah. Chris, wait. That's not your real identity? Crystal, did you have something? Yeah, something to get your little eyebrow raised? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, quick, like your stream. <laughs> it's the only way out. It's the only way out. I don't think I, I don't. I could go over and like it on the mon or the uh, the PC on the monitor over there, but I can't do it here. 
It's weird. It's like picture in picture. Picture in picture. You're really Mario. He's been Mario this whole time. If you say you're John Stamos, then I'm gonna fall on the floor. Yeah. You got me again. John, if you John, if you tricked me again. <laughs> <laughs> It's the perfect response. It's the perfect response. As a comedian. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's too much. It's me, Mario. <laughs> Beautiful. I can't. Oh boy, okay. Thank you, Chris. I needed that. I really needed that. Thank you. So many, uh, so many thoughts running through my mind. All right, two more minutes till voting closes. Oh my gosh, Mel, Mel just donated. <laughs> Mel donated $6. Thank you, Mel, for missing the stream, Mel. Send him my love, Mel. Thank you, Mel. Give some love to Mel. Mel, you don't have to do that if you miss the streams, buddy. Um... Chris, what are you quoting something here, Chris? Chris, what are you quoting? Yeah, give yeah, there you go. Give the love to Mel. Ugh, so sweet. Uh, Naomi, did we lose Joe? Mel, yes. Mel, if you were here, Chris Pratt is also saying thank you, along with Naomi and Crystal. Come on. It doesn't get much better than that. So good. Avengers, man. Is Star-Lord part of the Avengers? I guess he was for a hot minute. Oh, Joe left? Oh, I wish Joe right. Joe gone. Hurts my heart, but it's the truth. So, that's okay. You'll be missed, Joe. He didn't even vote. That's all right. That's okay. Sadie, if you're still here, please give my best to your family when you see them. Voting has officially closed. So now we come down to it. Here we go. You voted, and this is how it shook out. Christina, hi, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Joe said boat rides? Or did we get it? Maybe I got it then. It changes little. Um, it's okay. We've already, it's already, it's locked in. Happy Sunday to you too, Christina. Thanks for being here. Turn <laughs> Chris, I'm sorry you have to introduce yourself as the real Chris Pratt. That's probably really hard. In the vote for dark rides, boat rides, or roller coasters, for your favorites, this is how it shook out. Dark rides comes in third with a very respectable 10 votes. Boat rides comes in second with 12. Roller coasters takes the day with 15 votes. That is the way it shook out, everybody. Thank you so much for voting. Thank you. I hope you had fun. This is cool. And again, just because yours maybe wasn't like the one, if yours was not the one that got the most votes, it doesn't matter. It's whatever is your favorite. Yeah. Um, the Leaning Tower of Dark Ride votes. Yeah, right? Yeah. Is it leaning? Yeah, oh, it looks like the Leaning Tower. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That was fun, though. Thanks for voting, guys. Again, maybe we'll do this again sometime where I'm like, all right, like hybrid. Like I said, like Pirates is kind of a hybrid. And like Space is kind of a hybrid. Not really, kind of. Um, Jurassic's kind of a hybrid. Any boat ride's kind of a hybrid, potentially. Like Storybook Land has dark ride sequences, but for the most part, it's outside. So, Storybook Land Canal Boats is great, by the way. 45 likes. Thank you so much. While we wind down here, if you have any final questions, thoughts, feelings, concerns, complaints, or theme park confessions, now is the time. Hit me with them. Hit me with them, or if you got a question for me, I'll be here for a few more minutes answering those if you have them. But if not, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Can you tell us your vote now that voting is closed, please? Crystal, I don't want to sway future votes. Um, one day, could we please have a pie chart? Naomi, thank you for that idea. I think uh, it's just a better representation this way. I mean, you have to keep drawing it again and again. But it's not a bad idea. Thanks for the idea. Crystal Poo. Crystal, do you want to guess which one? I won't say yay or nay, but 
If you guess correctly, maybe you'll know. Can you have a pie, Greg? I don't... Does Gustavo... Does he bake, too? <gasps> we can make key lime pie. Key lime pie. I want some key lime pie now. Crystal, nah. Jimmy's is roller coasters. I'm not saying it is, but I'm not saying it isn't. I do love a good roller coaster, though. <sighs> Matterhorn. Big Thunder. Warms my little heart. I love those. I love them. No wrong answers, man. Like, they're all great. They're all good. If we would have gotten that Mary Poppins ride, it's a flat ride, but it would have been inside, so it would have been a dark ride. So it would have been like teacups in, the, in like a building. That would have been like a hybrid. Hmm. Oh, well. C'est la vie. Yeah, Greg, my favorite, human-powered boat rides. I love watching people just stroke, stroke. Um, this place called Magic Mountain might be perfect for you. Gotta go, guys, but Jimmy, my agent, will reach out soon. Chris, thank you, I appreciate that. Even if it's false hope, um, it still strikes a chord in my heart. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for being here. Thanks for taking the time, buddy. I hope I can see you again soon. Hopefully we can hang out in the park someday. That'd be lovely. Maybe do a movie together, do a little uh, picture together. That'd be great. Minnesota Bros. Big Thunder and Matterhorn mashup ride. Ooh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Crystal. Crystal, he probably doesn't want to talk about that. Crystal. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> that is one of the funniest uh, things that's happened on the channel. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, it will stay with me for quite some time. <laughs> Pokemon. Uh, we just did the final uh, tally for the votes, and it seems like roller coasters came out on top. But I'm just wrapping up, just doing final questions or anything like that, if you've got them for me. Pokemon. We're playing some Pokemon Snap yesterday. Love it. <laughs> the real. The real one. Um... Oh, no, I don't think it would have been Pokemon. No, 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 that was Chris. That was Chris. I don't... Nah, that was, that was legit him. You can't write for reals with a Z and not be honest. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Wait a sec. Pokemon. What happened? Oh, it's good. It's great. It's great. Ah, yes. Was the real? It was the real Chris Pratt. Yeah. It was legit him. He told me his agent was gonna reach out soon. Guys, that means the channel is gonna change a lot. All right. A lot more live streams of me in a trailer uh, in an undisclosed location. I'm sure people will love that. I'm sure the signal will not be spotty at all. What's the signal like in Georgia? Just in general. Does anybody know? I don't. Oh, and then on the weekends, I can go down to, uh, to Florida and I go to Walt Disney World in between um, weeks on set. Oh. But we've spotted Jimmy Good once again at the Magic Kingdom, riding the people mover of all things. I'm like, hello. Minnesota boys. Yeah, right? Yeah. We should have asked him who his favorite Pokemon is. Ugh. We'll just tweet it at him, or Instagram him. He's on one of those, right? Crystal, you can do that, right? We'll do it. That's fine. We'll get the answer. I'm sure he loves Arcanine. He seems like an Arcanine guy. That'd be amazing if you were an Arcanine guy. <laughs> He'll be back. Yeah, one day. I hope. I hope so. It was nice of him to donate, too. That was incredible. I know he said it was all he could afford right now, but, you know, for his first time here, that's it's kind of nice. It's, it's a sweet thing to do. You know? Thanks, Chris. I'm sure uh, I'll catch him on another. Um, there's no way I'm going to miss that. Yeah, right? Totally. Drop out for a bit. Not sure how much longer you'll be on. So if you leave before I come back, thanks for letting Amy and I hang out. Ross, you are always welcome. Sending my love to you and Amy. You guys are amazing. You're so great. You're so great. Ah, oh, yeah. Crystal X or whatever. Yeah. No. Not another good two hours. Like a couple more minutes, all right? A couple more minutes. I always tell people, if they keep asking me questions, I'll keep going. But... Uh, 
I should wind down here soon. What did I... The Hansons told me to go get dinner at some point, so I should go do that. I, what did I eat for lunch? Hmm. I think it's a sandwich. I had a sandwich. I had a sandwich. Secret sandwich. By Ross. Rock on, brother. Rock on, Ross. Hope we see you on Friday. In the stream, baby. Mm, mm, mm. That's me dancing. That was me dancing. Um, <laughs> or attempting to dance. Again, two finger point dance. That's good. Use that the next time you are invited to a celebration of some sort. Even if no one else is dancing, if you start doing the two finger point dance, everybody else will join you. I'm sure. You should probably film it just to make sure. Yeah, Naomi, I could do the Jimmy Shimmy, but I don't know. I was doing it a lot earlier. I don't want it to be overplayed, you know? One of those things that break my clavicle. Um, <laughs> clavicle's a funny word. I find it humorous. Uh, you probably close the stream by giving this week's preview. This week's preview is, as always, Monday and Wednesday. Just stay tuned to the channel. You never know what's going to pop up. I like doing that, too. Does it, does it mess with anyone? <laughs> yep. Yeah. It can get a bit intense. I know. I don't want Crystal to do the big popping eye emoji. So I think about that. I'm, I'm always trying to be considerate. Conscientious, you know. Of such things. So yeah. You never know. But you never know. You never know. That's very true. Yeah. I'm excited though. I hope you guys like what's coming up. You never... That's the thing. I want the channel to be something that's consistent. Like you, there's always a video on Monday and Wednesdays. But you're not always sure exactly what it's going to be. So. It keeps it. Fresh. That's not true at all, Crystal. Not at all. Crystal. <laughs> Nightbot, thank you for reminding me. Thank you to all the people who have been supporting the channel financially. I appreciate you. I'll shout you out one more time here at the end. Again, final questions if you've got them. All right. Whoa. If Robert popped up, he probably wouldn't remember me. I was across the room from him. He was blowing kisses to everybody, but um, I caught one, so... Yeah. I did see the new droids in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, the BDs or whatever. Yeah, they're pretty cute. Yeah, I saw that. I was a little disappointed that they did not do the Escape from the Empire overlay or Rise, but maybe next year. Josh. I'm speed dial three, bud. Right after voicemail and your mom. Just call me up, please. Please, please, Josh. Like Josh would ever see this. <laughs> Have I interacted with Batsu stuff with my magic band? No. No, my magic band's usually dead. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. It only interacts with like two things normally in the park. The nice thing is, even with my magic band being dead, it can still get me in the park, which is funny. But no, I don't really go in for that sort of thing. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, just not interested. No. When I'm in Batu, I'm on business. It's either Rise or Rontos, typically. Smugglers occasionally, but... Oh, I haven't been to Rontos in a while. Ugh. I miss Rontos roasters and the chickens that are being cooked. Man, I love it. Josh's mom is on your speed dial. Holly, holding out on me? Holly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Call, call her up. Call, call her up, be like, <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, Josh's mom. <laughs> I was wondering if you could get Josh to reach out to my friend Jimmy. <laughs> oh, oh, Holly, for sure, I would love to do that for you. So nice of her. So nice. You have tea together, Holly? Come on now. Come on now. What kind of tea? I gotta know. I gotta do the, I'm sorry to do the follow-up questions on you, but Earl Grey? Or like a chrysanthemum? That's a fun word, chrysanthemum. <laughs> I wish I was more into tea. Hopefully in my old age one day, I'll be, I'll be like, yeah, I'm into tea now. 
But right now I don't. <laughs> oh, wow, Greg, that's a that's a humble brag and a flex. Well done, sir. English breakfast and peppermint. Oh my gosh, Holly. That is Le Bouge. Um, that's very nice. Why do I always, I picture Bowie also having like a little cute pink hat and enjoying the tea with you. And she's just looking at you like. <laughs> like, hi, Bowie. You enjoy tea? Chrysanthemum is my birth month flower. Oh, that's nice. I didn't. No, there were birth month flowers as well. Oh man, there's so many things for birth months. So many. That's cool. Nice. I know the lady slipper is the flower of Minnesota. She has a hat and feather boa. <laughs> and Holly, what is that look she gives you when you put it on? Chewy! What's up, Chewy? You got gifted a membership. Chewy, how are you? Favorite pizza joint in LA? Oh, I don't know, Chewy. I haven't been to many. I have someone I know who makes their own, and I get invited over for pizza sometimes, and that's the best. So, cups of whipped cream. Oh, she loves it. Chewy, I'm so happy you're here. How are you, pal? <laughs> they call you that? What's the birth month flower for June? I don't know. I don't know, Pokemon. I'm sure someone will know. Maybe Crystal knows. Maybe she knows. She knows a great many things, this crystal. Morning glories are your birth month flower, Jimmy. Oh, okay. She looks at me like, what is wrong with you, mother? Chewy, I'm glad, buddy. Send him my love. Chewy, when are you going to come visit, man? You'd be so much fun to hang out with in the parks, dude. We could live the dream from college. You and me, bud. Let's do it. Oh, that'd be great, Chewy. Ugh, oh, that's so good. Chewy, tonight we were discussing uh, your favorite of these three different types of attractions, dark rides, boat rides, or roller coasters. The voting's done, but which is your favorite? We can live the dream. Chewy, all we need is Matt out here, too. He's been working out a ton. Like, he's always worked out a lot, but, like, the stuff he's doing now, I'm like, whoa, dude, that's very impressive. Oh, what's uh, your, are you, like, the Chinese um, calendar, you mean? Mine was horse, I think, for 1990. What else? Oh, you get a pig. Well, pigs are lucky, right? Roller coaster, Chewy? Nice. Nice. Chewy, just wait till the Fast and Furious roller coaster comes out, out here. Get on that one. I feel like that's one I'm going to do, like, once in a while. Like, it might not be all the time for me. I'll do it, but I might be like... I'm excited to try it, though. That'll be cool. That'll be very cool. It is exciting. New attractions are exciting, all right? They just are. I'm sad it replaced two shows, but... It's a rooster. Nice. Family. Dude, family. I love it. You are. Chewie is part of my college family. One of, like, three or four people I still talk to from back in the day. Chewie, thank you for being here. Out of all the people I know from college, you're the only one who's consistently in the streams. So for that, you get my love. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Final questions, guys. Final questions. I know we're Minnesota buying it, but this is just how it goes. Oh, I didn't ask you guys. What are you doing for dinner tonight? Let me live vicariously through you. How many grapes will be will be ha will we be eating with dinner tonight? That's the real question. And what kind? Red, green, orange. You had pizza. Ooh, that sounds really good. Um, so he's the one getting the swag when you're famous. <laughs> what is that, Crystal, exactly? What does that mean? Because swag to me was always like stuff we all get from like conventions. Sleeping for dinner. <laughs> fasting, you're fasting. A loaded baked potato, nice. What's my least favorite state? Um, denial. Uh... You had pizza too. What kind of pizzas, guys? Meatloaf is still cooking. Whoa, Nicole. Meatloaf. Um, yeah, I can't say I'm a meatloaf guy, but I'm glad you're in, you're making it. Get after it, Nicole. Good on you. Good on you. It's a texture thing for me. 
Barbecue chicken pizza. Whoa. Fancy. Skywalker. That is fun. Sir. My favorite state is confusion because that's a constant in my life. Greg's like, and I, I take comfort in knowing that constant. Uh, no, Naomi, I, it's whatever you like. You like meatloaf, Naomi? Then it was so good, Skywalker. Nice. It was like the barbecue chicken, so does it have like a white sauce? Is that what it had? They usually don't do like a tomato base. Burgers are not like meatloaf. Holly, I just, I'll tell you about it sometime. Any pizza with pineapple is my favorite. See, I like pineapple too. Pepperoni and pineapple. I put barbecue and boysenberry. What? That sounds amazing. That sounds so good. The boysenberry. Dude, shout out to Knott's, man. Shout out to Knott's. With gravy, then the tomato sauce. Oh. Hmm, Crystal, that's... I've never heard of that, I don't think. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, no, I just, I've never enjoyed the texture of meatloaf. Cheeseburgers are different, at least for me. So, Naomi, you say that all the time, but we know better. I know better. I know two things you don't like. And one of them, I've forgotten. <laughs> meatloaf is exotic <laughs> to you. Crystal, I know. It's like tacos are exotic to me. <laughs> Not really, but, you know. Yeah, a lot of meatloafs back home. Casseroles or hot dish is what we like to call them. If you call it casserole, you're probably not from Minnesota. Meatloaf texture varies wildly. Some are exactly like hamburger patty, yeah. The ones I've had in the past are not like hamburger patties, so. If I had a meatloaf that was exactly like a hamburger, then I'd probably love it. But, yeah. That and beef stroganoff. Disgusting. Ugh. Slimy wet noodles. Ugh. I'm afraid to tell you guys things I dislike because I know I'll be chastised for them. And we brought up again and again for the rest of my life. So to turn that around, I love meatloaf. <laughs> I love it so much. And beef stroganoff is my favorite. Please don't send it in the mail. Um, do, do. Cheesecake Factory makes a pretty good meatloaf. See, Crystal, I would never gamble on buying it in public, but maybe it would, I, would, I would try it if someone else got it. Um... <laughs> Gotta cook the meatloaf in a cupcake pan and it changes the texture. Oh, fascinating. So you make like, you make like separate little meatloafs. Really? Is that how you do it, Nicole? This is interesting to me. Fascinating. Wow. I respect it. I do. I'm learning new things. I'm learning something new all the time. Exactly like that. My, you just changed my viewpoint on life. Well, cool, Nicole. I hope it's delicious. Barbecue and boysenberry. On your own little personal... It's like a personal pan pizza. That's so cute. Uh, you're Nicole, brilliant. Brilliant, Nicole. I'm applauding you. That's great. Ugh. Yeah. I won't be having that tonight. Nicole, can I come over? Can I... Come over again. Yo, you can send that in the mail. How about that? It's just like a dripping. <laughs> Please don't. Um, uh, single servings, maybe you want to eat a few of them. What's my favorite pizza topping? Probably pepperoni. Uh, too much cooking channel? Hey, Nicole, no. That's that's not... You can never watch too much of that, okay? That's That's a good thing, okay? Don't worry about that. That's great. Good for you, Nicole. I love it. Thanks for sharing that with us, man. Share us your recipes and tips. Next stream. What's your favorite uh, special recipe? Your pizza was pepperoni. It still is. Nice. His pizza had a our first name. It was... No, I'm not gonna... We'll cut the joke. I'll cut the joke short, all right? That's fine. Okay, all right, it's getting it's getting there. All right, thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for voting tonight. Thank you for all the super chats and the memberships, the gifted memberships, all, all that stuff. Favorite pizza chain? Not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored? Papa John's. But I love Pizza Hut's also amazing. So, yeah. 
Uh, but thank you for being here. Chewy, thank you for dropping by me. I'll give you guys all uh, personal goodbyes at the end. But again, I appreciate you. Thank you for your member here or patron or your donating on Venmo or PayPal or any of those things. Thank you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the links down below. Thanks for liking and sharing the channel around. It helps a ton. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, Crystal, but it could be. Yes, Pokemon. Goodbye to you. Uh, but I appreciate everyone being here today. Like I said, I'll be back on Friday for a stream. Monday and Wednesday, we'll have new videos coming out. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for taking some time out of your Sunday to spend with me. Much appreciated. Much love. All right, guys. Until next time, big hugs. Big hugs. And just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Do the JP watch party on Discord. We, we could. Thank you. Naomi, thank you. And uh, thank you to all of our moderators here tonight. Appreciate you. And of course, above all, thank you to mom. I love you, mom. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, Skywalker, thank you. May the force be with you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Crystal, thanks for being here. Much love, mi amiga. Thank you, Chris Pratt. Of course, Chris, thank you for being here. If somebody clips this and sends it to him, just make sure to tag me. Sadie, goodbye. Please go to invest your the family. Greg, thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody. Okay, until next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Take care. Much love. I hope you have a great week. Hopefully, I'll see you in the comments in the uh, videos coming up. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.